Oh, what the fuck happened to my car, dude? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, it's fine. I fixed it. Alright, glad my car's working. Sorry guys, he had somewhere to be. If I fix you, are you going to lose your mind again? <laughs> Wasn't feeling the motions, though. Let me, I'll look at those clips in a sec. Lunar Raven, thank you for the eight months. I appreciate it. Thank you. I just got back. What happened? Oh, my fucking thing broke. All right. Do you want to see what happened? This is what happened. Oh. Oh, it's fine. I fixed it. All right, glad my car's working. Sorry, guys. He had somewhere to be. Thank you again for the eight months. I appreciate it. <laughs> Perfect parking every time. Let's go buy another fucking thing. What the fuck? What is this picture? Why the fuck? What the fuck? Can we have Bugs' phone background back? Yeah, sure.
memed out for the day. I want Hank to run into Stanley, not gonna lie. Yo. Hey, you said to call? Sorry. Hey. Yeah, um, we're meeting up with, um, uh, Chaos Legion's coming down, their prayers is coming down to fucking pay respects to the yard, so... If you want to be there for that, then, um, pull through quickly. Yeah, sure. I'm on the way. Yeah, Ziggy. I'll be there. Right, so yeah, yeah, pull through. That is. I'm about to go get water and pour them onto my eyes. Levy a court case for malpractice or some shit. Yeah, court case. Yeah, well, um, Kanta, Kanta is protecting him under the, literally the point that she's making is, incredible things happen in this city sometimes, so he was trying an incredible thing. Which is, we, yeah, there's a time Thank and a fucking you. place, it's, and that is the, that is the weakest excuse. You can't hide behind phone, that when so. some shit goes south. No, no, if he's not gonna own up to it. I didn't recognize you for a second. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. I've been, I've been... I was wearing this more and more anyway, and, you know, now mm -hmm. it's... It feels appropriate, so... Thank you. We're, uh, we're having a meeting after this. Uh, I need to tell you guys some things that I uh, need to pass on to the rest of the club, and you see them. Uh... Yeah. See the, with, with the doctor thing. Um, I don't know about the accessory to murder stuff, but uh, it's definitely something we need to keep close to our chest. Uh, just in case it gets out. I don't want to give them some rope that they can try and weasel against us. Yeah, I'll push it after the whole... Yeah. Their trial. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just... fucking pissed. <laughs> yeah, no, I... 100% got it. Trust me, Finn and I, I think we're both about to shoot the fucking cunt whilst he was working on TJ. That's how I'll, uh, I've seen it once at one point. Can anyone else hear that? Or is that just me? What are you listening to? A, just a constant honk. Ah. Uh, something you gotta take a nap for, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna daydream about water. Okay. Right back, John. I need water. Hey. That's gone. How's it going, guys? Yeah, we're, uh, we're holding it together. Uh, you know, major shifts in the earth and all that stuff. Um, yeah, you guys doing okay? Yeah, we're doing okay. Better than you guys, unfortunately. We really wish, hope, wish that you guys were uh, in better stances right now. But uh, just wanted to make sure that we came down and paid our respects to another club for losing somebody close to them, their own family, and all that. So. Mm. No, we um, you know, we we genuinely uh, yeah, we appreciate that. So, um, you know, obviously, shit's uh. So it's a good reminder to to uh, make sure people know that you appreciate them, whatever. I think. 
It's the same thing that we've mentioned countless times, past, present, and definitely in the future. I mean, clubs are connected in one way or another, so. Yeah. We, uh, we did a big fuck-off convoy. I mean, I know, you, I know your times are more like around now, uh, I think. A little bit earlier now, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it would be nice to have you guys at all the other MCs there, which is nice to see. Uh, but, yeah, we definitely were keeping you guys in our, in our thoughts then. Um, but, yeah, I think you guys would have enjoyed being there. But, yeah, we do appreciate you coming down. Uh, Go take care of shit. If you guys, uh, if you guys need anything, like whatever, with whatever you guys got planned in the future or whatnot, we're more than happy to help out in any way that we can. So feel free to ask. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll be in touch. I think we we've worked with you quite a bit on on some other things. I think I, I don't know what uh, the exact process was, but uh, we'll definitely be in touch. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you, by the way. Uh, yeah, I've Finally. met like way in the past, I think, but yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. Definitely glad to, to meet you for sure, but uh, yeah. Better times would have been a little bit easier on everything, but I, I do mm. have a, a bit of piece of information that I do want to give to you guys at least now. Uh, do you want it separately, or do you want it all just out in the open for you guys? I don't know um, if you care. I mean, feel free. Go for it. Okay. We're all ears. So, uh, obviously, it's kind of easy to know what kind of happened and whatnot and who mm. did what. So, uh, this is more of a, a warning of, like, what kind of information we've gotten. I don't know if you guys know about Patar and his connections and whatnot. You know that he's been kind of working alongside of uh, CG and all of that, like, just in general. Mm -hmm. He actually came to us looking for uh, hot guns and... PD guns and stuff like that, so not sure what all they have planned with any of that stuff, but wanted to at least make sure you guys were aware of it. Alright. Um, yeah. Oh, let's, let's get shit. Okay. Appreciate it. Don't know it. what you guys plan on doing, don't know what they plan on doing, but just knowing that there's something in the works on that end, we want to make sure you guys knew what's coming if you guys decide to go any further, so. Hmm. Um, yeah, okay. We're playing it close to the chest. But, uh, I do appreciate that. We'll yeah. keep it in mind. Absolutely. Thanks, man. Yeah, uh, nice to see the rest of you. Uh, thanks for coming down, guys. Appreciate you. Yeah, you're welcome. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you around then. Yeah. We'll, uh... Stay safe, all of you, okay? Yeah, I'll yeah. be in touch, Frankie. Yeah. Yeah, take care. Thank you for coming down. You guys, thank Absolutely. Care. My eyes hurt. Fuck. Shut up. It's been a long day. I'm just gonna go yeah. straight, guys. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, you can go through the exit over there if you go through the wall park. Yep, uh, take okay. care. Yeah. See you later. Bobby, is that you? It is. <gasps> I love you, Bobby. Bye. Bye, I love you. Alright, um, we are going to the MP house. Uh, okay. Yeah, if you see Kelly on the way there, just let him know. <laughs> oh, on the radio, if you have a radio, triple 2.3. Uh, I'm gonna scoop one up really quick. Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck. Give off some coffee too. I'm not even kidding. I just let water, cold water, rest on my eyeballs for a good, like, I don't know, a few seconds. <laughs> uh. On my eyeballs? Yes. It felt nice. I'm sorry, you guys n have never been fucking swimming and open your eyes? Hey, it's not that fucking hard. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? You know? The fuck? I can't swim, so... Uh. Swimming with your eyes open hurts? Yeah, if you're going in, into a mad chlorinated pool or like salt water, sure. 
If it's like freshly chlorinated, chlorinated, yeah, that's a problem, but you know, the chlorine builds pain tolerance. That's right. You get used to it. Amen, brother. Let's terrorize up together. Sorry, I don't have a freshwater aquarium to dive, dive into, Mr. Moneybags. I don't! I just have clean water that was cold. Oh, wait, we're going to the Mirror Park House. Bunch of city kids never went swimming in a lake. Amen. Ziggy, you go loud. What have I missed? Oh, fuck. What haven't you missed? Um... Oh. Is this us? Alright, just go fuck myself. Guess not. <laughs> Are you sleepy at 3 uh 38 is my question. I'm not sleepy, bitch. I've been I've been doing the waterworks all fucking day. Ziggy cop comes when yeah. Is this shit on or not? Okay. Every time I close it, it says powered off. Such an actor, wow, yeah. <laughs> I, quite frankly, I don't know what we deserve to, to get I, that, yeah, that, I, that I, outreach. I was just say, like, sorry about the, you know, the cutting off head comment, um, but I just felt like it wasn't the right time right there. Uh, yeah. That's, but, hey, she can, yeah. She, like, that can be sorted later, um, but that is... That is that is huge, actually. So I'm I'm gonna make sure everyone hears about that. The Raiders that is, that, that is a huge show. Of respect. Of deaths in prison. Um, yeah. and then Chaos Legion obviously came down and uh offered us guns. So uh, Damn. you know, MCs coming together. That that is like the fucking vision right there. You know, like that's what I want to see. And, that's that's yeah. the fucking that's the dream. And we all live this fucking way of life together. You know, whatever cut we wear, whatever patch we rock. You know, we're bound by our values and beliefs and. Uh, that's that's the kind of shit you want to see in Foster. So that's uh, that's actually really clutch. I was meant to give you this back. I forgot. Hey, old man. Oh. <laughs> what? Appreciate it. What? The f this is a one of one rifle, just by the way. Oh, sorry. Well, you're, you're gonna got it back to you. It's a 25k fine if I'm fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have lived if you didn't vote for yourself? Would you, would you, would you... Cow a bummer, dude. <laughs> That's a cow a bummer. Hello. There you go. Oh, thank You're you. <laughs> no problem. No, it's, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, don't worry. We get a, we get a million of them. Uh, Shang's given like $200,000 to Nigerian princes. It's what? it's normal. We just it, we just get that now. Bro is donating to the wrong cause. Uh, it's Somalian princess, but yeah. A Cerberus meeting? Oh god, they're reforming. Oh my god. And it's all coming back. Seaside and fucking Rust is joining together. Cerberus is coming back. Think about buying a yeah, they, they were they had a gang meeting. They had um, a, they had a gang meeting. Uh, I'll discuss those things in, in a little bit. Let's uh let's chat about the shit that needs to be chatted about. Yeah, it's not mm -hmm. like that. They're like joining the houses. So what was that about magazines? For the GC 19s? Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that soon. So Manov Appreciation Club. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we're 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 having a club meeting right now. Um, yeah. So I'll uh, I'll, I'll hit you up afterwards. All right. Let us. Oh, Sam Bead. Oh. All right. Um, I need to talk to you guys about this. And it needs to be said that it's not leaving this room unless you are in a private conversation with another club member. Uh, I really cannot stress that enough. So, uh, I'm telling you this, I think the club needs to know. And so you can probably assume what it is already, just from what I'm saying there. Um, okay, 
So, obviously, TJ has, has passed. Uh, yeah, and um, so yesterday we found out that CG were the, the culprits, uh, the ones who had done it. And they were the ones who, who broke into the council meeting. And uh, Pigeon came to visit TJ uh, at some point during the, the proceedings. And, and I confronted Pigeon, uh, calling him a slime, because he came to visit the person that they had uh, essentially killed. Um, and Pigeon said that wasn't the plan. And he told me that uh, TJ was not meant to be in the meeting for the first hour. And I said, well, who, whose plan? Who, the, who told you that? Where did that come from? And he said it came from Solomon. Now, I'm not here to rally people against Solomon because we need to get his side of the story first. Uh, that's from High Command themselves. Um, but we, we carried on finding out what happened. Sean and I spoke to Pigeon in the hospital. Um, and he confirmed that Solomon not only knew about it, but also was part of the planning for it to happen. Again, I want to stress this very pointedly. We need to speak to Solomon and get his side of the story first. Um, yeah, regardless of whatever we hear outside of the club, we always hear at our members. Yeah, okay? he, he wears the same patch as yeah. us. He's one of us. And no matter which way it goes, he uh, is deserving of the respect to plead his case and, and tell us his side. Because in, especially in this city, facts can get misconstrued. Truths can be warped. And there might be some major details or something like that, or things have just been taken out of context that we don't know about. So um, no judgments are to be made by any of us. It's not our role or responsibility, but uh, I think it is important that you know this information that Shank is you know, saying. Yeah. So um, obviously you can come to your own conclusions, but again, it is important to stress that Ed uh, in particular is very strongly that we uh, don't, don't judge people. Don't assume the worst or something like that. Um, so, yeah. But I'm sure that every one of you has had some inkling or heard it somewhere or anything. So I don't um, know if this changed anything. But the fact we have confirmation from Pigeon, who is in CG, who was at the meeting, does tell us that Solomon was at least in the know. Um, there is no plan to move forward right now with that until uh, High Command Barry especially wakes up. Because uh, that leads me to my next point. No one should be telling Barry uh, what happened. It, it should come from someone close to him, which is, is Colin or Andy or Sean. Um, and, and I know you guys are aware of that. Like, trust me, I'm not here to talk down to anyone because uh, I, I would likely be someone to do it stupidly as well. Um, like, just fucking text him or something stupid. But it, it needs to be told to other club members. Um, yeah. And then the, the third point um, is that we are unofficially preparing for war. That should not be said to anyone. No one should hear that. Uh, from Only the club should know that. Uh, we, we're preparing for war with potentially CG. So everything going forward is going to go to the club. I know we said we had pushes for last week. We are going to take a... Uh, I am going to speak to every single person and just see what they need from their cut because I do think it's a little bit unfair. But in terms of money, uh, I do think every single person should get what they need to stay afloat. Uh, but yeah, that is something that we need to keep in mind. So the next, we're battening down the hatches. We're preparing for potential for war that, uh, that is not objective-based. So it's not something that will end easily. It, it is emotionally charged. We don't know how Barry will react uh, to either of the things that I've just said here. So, but you guys probably have a good fucking inkling. On. <clears throat> Going back to the first Kelly. point, have you have you talked to Loki? Yeah, I was uh, gonna say. Uh, I have not spoken to him today. No. So, can you guys all hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. sweet. I spoke to Loki, um, not face to face, but over the phone. Um, we essentially discussed the video, and uh, we had like you know suspicions about certain parts uh and 
I essentially told him that I, I believe that it was Solomon's instinct to get under the table, seeing as how, you know, he's military. Um, however, that wasn't actually my suspicion. My suspicion that it was like he knew that was going to happen. Uh, so Silas went and, uh, you know, had a talk with Solomon to uh, see if, uh, you know, uh, I guess uh, to confirm the suspicion. And uh, again, echoing what Shang said, uh, Solomon didn't know about the attack beforehand. Uh, and I guess none of us knew, uh, as seeing as how he didn't let any of us know. Um, and saying that, uh, according to Silas, and this is from what Silas said, uh, Solomon's expecting a bullet in his head and he's at peace with the fact that uh, if that happens, it is what it is. Loki told you that? that Solomon is uh, expecting Loki. a bullet in his skull? Loki told me that, yep. He's at peace with the fact that he'll get shot. Um, so. Also said, again, this is secondhand, but he said that Solomon told him directly he knew beforehand. That's what you just said, correct? Sorry, say again? You just said that he confirmed that Solomon knew beforehand. Solomon told him directly he knew beforehand? Solomon Solomon knew about the attack beforehand, yes. Okay. Make sure that Hank he was, hears that, but he knew they'll still want to talk to Solomon. He didn't orchestrate it alongside uh, CG, but he, he knew it was uh, going to happen. Mm. Again, we should uh, still give him the benefit of the doubt, hear him out, see what he has to say, but uh, that's the info that was relayed to me by Loki himself. So. Okay. So what does gun connect? Uh... And those magazines, just tell them what they, whatever the fuck they need for them. Uh, yeah. Anyways, um, uh, the the pushers. If you need money, uh, come and speak to me. And that goes for everyone else who's pushed. It also needs to be stressed to everyone. Money is money is what wins wars. We need money. Yep. That comes from everywhere. We need materials. We need uh, other resources. We need cash. Doesn't matter if it's clean, washed, dirty, fuck you. Just uh whatever it is. So pushing is the way forward right now. Yeah. Okay. Right now there's the people responsible. Right. They're probably going to be hit with a huge amounts of fines, huge amount of times, you know. We've got the leg up. It's our time to get work, and it's time for us to get the fucking upper hand while we're still out here. Okay? Um, Do we know how much time we have? No idea. No. Uh, I talked with uh, Andy earlier. Um, she's still... Uh, running Survivor, she she said that she probably wouldn't have been if uh, TJ hadn't told her to do it um, over this past Sunday period. Um, she figured that uh, he would, you know, want that because they had talked about doing a bunch of stuff like that for you know the city, etc. Um, but uh, during our conversation, she said that. Uh, uh, me and her would work together to set up uh, the funeral. Um, I will keep everybody posted on that. Okay. Yeah, good shit. Thank you. Um, make sure this is passed out to the rest of the club. Uh, keep everything to yourself for now. Uh, Taking the preemptive measure to remove Solomon's access to this house. Uh, just for the time being. So if people have a major issue with that, they can come to me. 
Um, but yeah, does anyone have any questions about anything? No, but I'd like to talk to you privately after the meeting. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, we're good to purchase a magazine and uh, ammunition blueprint for the EGCs. Yeah. 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 Um, we are. And then I expect, uh, um, Elio, Finn, if you could go with him, secure that shit, that'd be good, please. Yeah. Oh, uh, 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 if you want to go with. I, yeah. uh, well, I, I need, we need to figure out somebody who can, that, that we can properly trust to take, uh, this house in their name, because I, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a gun in my hand out the next, you know, week or so. Yeah. Roy's been proposed. I think that's one of our best options. That's uh, Kelly's I've, wife. I proposed mm -hmm. Roy, but how yeah. far outside the club do we want to trust? As, that's also another question. My suggestion would be Andy if she's comfortable with it. I'll ask her. Both good candidates, really. Okay. Uh, yeah, that that is a good point. Okay. Either a good shot, I mean, Roy's a, a good egg. Mm -hmm. And he's a good one too, so. Yeah. Okay, um, that also means we need to put together a fund for the keys. I think the only uh, the only thing I can think of with if uh, if it is picked for Roy, like if, say in the future, uh, whatever charge gets landed, because I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of charges that link back to the property owner, uh, if the club will be able to put, uh, essentially pay whatever the fine she would get. So, you know, if she gets like a 100k fine, uh, the club will be able to pay that off for her if she can't. If she gets in shit for what, owning the house, like say she gets stockpiling or something? Uh, yeah, so stockpiling, yeah, stockpiling the, the, goes, yeah, yeah. No, stockpiling that's fine. The club will pay for it. Got it. Yeah, okay, yeah no, that's yeah, fine. I'm Same with the house bills. Uh, I mean, that goes for anyone who owns a house. They're doing us a favor. Then that is like literally the least we can do. I can, like, whenever we need to pay bills, I can readily, it'll probably be during DGEN, but I can get her to wake up just to, to pay, like, power bills if uh, we decide to go with her, so. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll discuss that with, uh, with High Command, see what they think about her. I mean, so, yeah, I'm assuming that you, you just want to shoot a cunt in the head when the time comes, right? That's why. I, I think I'm, I share the sentiment with everybody here that I'm ready to mm. start burning things down. Alright, mm. good shit. Okay. Bad. All right, let's, uh, yeah, uh, Kelly, sort out that blueprint, and then Elio and Finn, please go with him. Yeah, we're in that shit up. Is you two gonna be alright on your own? You guys gonna be alright? Yeah, we should be alright. Uh, Ziggy, you awake for much longer? I, uh, I intend to, at some point, speak with Barry. So, okay. yes. Okay, um, you want to come with us to get this blueprint? Yeah. Okay, yeah, sick. I feel like just ordering it. Just call me. All right, Elio. All right, Elio. Oh, oh here, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, if you need Sometimes let out. makes it worse. I could, get, I could let you let out. I can yes, get you let out. Yes, please, okay. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, so we'll go with the... At some point, Ziggy, I'd like to talk to you. The most expensive one. Yeah. First I think it's a good opportunity for us to... And that is going to be... Take care of yourself. You, uh, just let me know when you're around, though. Yeah, I'll be around... I'll just be in my apartment, but so I might be around later. Okay. Fingers crossed. All right. Take it easy, Elo. Yeah. I'll come with you so I can mark it on the GPS, and just in case. Yeah. I think I know where it is. It's in that. Uh, it's in like bug stars, isn't it? It's in between like two silos. Oh shit. All right, just follow on Ziggy. We're going to the tuna, right. uh, tuna yeah. shop. I got you.
fucking mistake. This is the rough one. Fuck. Was, yeah, the last time, last time everybody was here, he went down, and then I was like, "Fuck." Uh, you need me anywhere? Uh, just, just, uh, I guess just looking out that way, just in case. Uh, mm. Drone robberies aren't too common, but uh, mm. never say never, as uh, Justin Bieber once said. Mm. We've got it. Oh, thank God, this is where I landed. Alright, we've got one more after this, and then that's it. Gotta go back to the house and. Fuck. TJ didn't have a gauntlet. <laughs> right? <laughs> None of those opened up. Fuck. Solomon does? All right. So we have a chance. So you're saying there's still a chance. <laughs> Is 
That's all I'm saying. You know, if Ziggy becomes chaplain, he's gonna need a gauntlet. Uh, Give me a TLDR. Uh, uh, what if today? Uh, he's crying. That's it. That's all. It's yeah, you uh, you order that and we'll go get it. Something, something. Solomon had. Oh, a gauntlet. He had a gauntlet. Oh, uh, here. All right. Here's the TLDR. Okay. Shooting at City Hall. TJ dies. Solomon yeah. potentially orchestrated and/or knew about the shooting. Um, and didn't tell. TJ, TJ died dead. Solomon in club. Solomon, not good. Club find out. Um. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we don't know why, and I want to know why, and I texted him why, but he didn't really respond. So, well, Solomon knew. Yeah. I think uh, TJ wasn't supposed to be there, and he was, and it did not go good. His reaction, not meta. All right. And why? What? Why what? Is that hey. going to be anything to tell you what happened? What if I know? I was meant to be a fucking therapist. He takes me saying, why? Articulate your fucking question. Naughty, naughty, Solomon. Uh, memes, uh, meta unlocks like Cholomaka, okay. All right, where's it at? You said memes. I'm looking. Oh my god. Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no fucking. Oh shit. Hold on. Oops. God damn it. Why is this. The sizing is so fucked. Alright, here we go. <laughs> That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. <sighs> oh, man. Real question. How does this affect my D&D &D session? <laughs> Fuck. Come on, guys. Fuck. Oh, I should text Rue. Because, oh, God. Rue, it got worse. Rue, it got worse. Rue, it got worse. <laughs> yeah. We could literally do the purchases we just did again <laughs> with that much book. It's insane. Not around, right? Oh, no. Yeah, Ziggy's, uh, we're still in the house. Um... Meanwhile, Move in prison. now. Oh, Jesus. What's this? What is yeah, wrong with this guy? What um, the hell? This is new. I don't Nobody think this is torture. This he likes it. Um, oh my god! Wow. God damn, Scotty. You know, I've always uh, said that prison doesn't really need to be really jail. Cool Thank you so much. Next minute or so uh, should be. Oh, what? Uh, what the? Uh, uh, <laughs> what the fuck? It's either five or six minutes when it opens up. Costs seven hundred bucks to make a magazine. 
pretty sure I could buy them to for five hundred. <laughs> Oh, the um, the GC19 ones. I mean, like you oh, have man. to have the blueprint to make them, yeah. I see. But in like material cost wise, it's like seven hundred bucks. Oh fuck, yeah. Speaking of which, should I be stockpiling? Is... <laughs> huh? I got a gun license. Should I be stockpiling? Do you get stockpiling whether it's illegal firearms? Like, even if you own six, you get stockpiling for it? I have no idea. I should probably hmm. read up on that. I know uh, stockpiling um. Is you uh, if they find it on you and they raid you, it's you and the property owner get that charge. So that's oh. why I was asking if uh, like <laughs> if Roy ever got fucked over for something like that, the uh, club will pay for it. So, but uh, I assume they would. I mean, what if I don't keep them in any houses? I mean, it's hard for them to track down where you're keeping them if uh, you. I mean, if we do the thing where you exchange the the deed to Roy, right? It's hard for them to be like, "Oh, he's got guns at this place," when it won't show up in your MDT that you like are the owner of this this house, you know? Yeah. That's why we. That's why we currently have fifteen guns all together over there. Damn. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go buy another gun. All right. And I'm not going to register it. <laughs> oh my god, no way. He's so cool. <laughs> Yo. Hey Yo. guys, hey. <laughs> Transferring houses. A flock of hydras in the wild, yeah. I'd still be doing. Oh, yeah, makes sense. Survivor stuff. Ooh. Like a busy intersection. What the fuck is that? The Hummer cycle? Oh, okay.
Oops, put that away. What's up, brother? You BBMC? No, no, ADMC. Hey, BBMC. Hey, what's up, brother? A long it's, time. I know, I know. It's I, I'm fucking I'm in a motorcycle club now. I feel like it's been too long. <laughs> it's too Hell yeah, I, was gonna, I, was gonna, I know he's <laughs> fucking ziggy, man. Who else would it be? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it's been a fucking long time, man, eh? I fucking know. What kind of motorcycle club you running now, brother? It's, uh... Yeah. Fuck, sorry. I've had a I've had a long day. You heard it, it about the shooting yesterday? No, I don't care about that stuff to be honest. Ah, fair what enough. shooting? Uh, it's City Hall. Oh no, I haven't heard nothing. Ah, fuck. Okay, all right, fair enough. Um, yeah, man, I just you know been doing this shit. Yeah, what's the fucking motorcycle club called? Oh, bitch? oh, That's oh! I, I, said. I said ADMC, motherfucker. You oh, didn't I didn't hear, me? hear it. I didn't oh, hear okay. the ADMC. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that sounds cool, man. Sounds better than fucking Bondi, people. <laughs> those, those fucking baby MC motherfuckers are tweeting, need help to pay my fucking jail fee. It's like, bitch, <laughs> what is this? Fucking social fucking credit? Like, what? <laughs> Yo, how can yeah. you call yourself a fucking crew and then, you know, not like, and then beg on Twitter for somebody to pay your jail fee? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Ziggy, let me give you my. Yeah, yeah. Right, here you go, man. Give me, give me text, call anytime, any day, brother. We do some shit, eh? All right, hell yeah, Speedy. Hell yeah, good take, to see you, man. I take, missed you, ass. Yeah, hell yeah. Take it easy, bro. You too, brother. All right, I'm 8505. Hey, Ziggy was an honorary Vago back in the day, you know? Even as a cop. I was an honorary Vago. Wow. <laughs> All right, um... Jobs with Speedy, that would be fun, actually. Wow, this still exists, huh? Let's go! Let's go! Uh, I don't remember what house key this is. Is this, is this my south side house key? Oh, no, no, no. It's an extra key for the house I'm at now. Okay. And a fucking and beaten down crowbar. Got it. Actually, you know what? Now I think about it, let me unload this so I can keep that extra magazine, but that is not what I wanted. Uh, I should not think of the uh, five months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Asinelli23 just subscribed. Baz Shake. You still have an apartment? That's right. I've been paying for it this whole fucking time. All right. Surprised they haven't evicted you. What the fuck, dude? I just don't stay here, man. It's, you know, it exists. I just don't do anything with it. Pull this fucking crowbar away. I'm gonna throw it down the elevator, uh, elevator shaft. Bing bong. Leave it in there. Big bong. Fuck a bitch. Crowbar. Scuff Wolverine. What the fuck? He's so cool. <laughs> Whoa. Elevator still scuffed? I don't know. I'm drawing boobies. Thank you for letting me know. Fuck. Ah, oh, fuck my life! Alright. Here we go again. Hey. Hi, sunshine. What's wrong? Oh. <laughs> 
Uh, what isn't wrong? I could hear it in your voice the minute you answered the phone. What happened? What's wrong? Uh, were you around at all yesterday? No, no. I kind of, you know, oh. took some time to myself to, you know, pull myself together and quit being a moody bitch. So, I'm better now. <laughs> oh, I'm well, I am glad to hear that, Edda. Yeah, yeah. What's going on then? Um, are you at the house? Yeah. Okay, I'm. I'm on the way up. I'll, I'm gonna. I'm gonna okay. pick you up. Okay. Okay, I'll be waiting. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Dude, come on! What? And I can't be happy for one day. <laughs> Time to ruin at his day. She's gonna see me in a cut, and I think that that's like enough. <laughs> I think she's going to see that and be like, oh, no. <laughs> uh. Dude, it, this is going to be an issue for Ziggy because, like, Edda was the treasurer, you know? And if she got picked, you know... Edda, after hearing the news, back to Stardew I go. Gonna go ahead and get this ready. It's all right. Take your time. Hi. I had a... What? <sighs> nice. What the, what, the cut? Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's really good. Thank you. Um... Oh, it is not for a good reason, unfortunately. Uh-oh. Okay. Is it Richard? No. Um, we're going to drive for a little bit before I say anything. Okay. You just, you, um... Uh, there is a big part of me that doesn't want to tell you because I know you've had, uh, you know, just a rough go of things for a while, and I want you to enjoy your day. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you have to put up with me and all that I have had to endure, and what did I say that, you know, like when I was talking about Matt... Y'all are there for me. I am here for you. 
So, whatever it is, it's clearly very serious. And you know, I've told you since day one that you can always talk to me about whatever. So, don't worry about me. You know, um, but I'm all ears. I'm afraid that uh, this isn't something that only affects me. Uh, okay. Is everybody okay in... No. Uh, yesterday... Uh, at the City Hall meeting, there was a uh, shooting. Um, oh. There were a lot of people uh, that uh, got hit. Uh, in fact, everybody but uh, Solomon, Murphy Braun, and Ursula were shot. Uh, oh. That includes... EJ. Uh, okay. He went into uh, surgery. Uh, they did two operations and... Uh, he did not make it out of it. I'm sorry? DJ died. Oh, honey. Um, I am so sorry. Uh, Who was it? Uh, we're uh, pretty positive it was Chen Kang. Oh, well, I mean, Mr. K has been talking about shooting up the council since fucking first started, so that's no surprise, unfortunately. Yeah. Um. <sighs> it's, uh... I've, I've been talking with a lot of people all day about... Oh my god, the whole fucking club must be beside themselves. Yeah. Uh... I heard it from, uh... uh a guy named Kelly this morning. Kelly Jean? Yeah. Um, yeah, Kelly told me, and then, but before Kelly told me, uh, Richard called and, you know, asked me to you know, come and talk, and I told him that, you know, Kelly had said that he wanted to meet with me, and Richard said, you should probably go and do that, um, and then... Oh, because he already knew. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I went and talked with, uh, Richard, um, after, and he sort of, I think he knows that the club is ready to set things on fire. As they should. Um, and he said he wouldn't blame me if I 
was with them on it. Really? Yep. I mean, if it is CG, you know how that's going to go. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, as much as I want to, I'm not going to ask you not to do anything. Because I honestly don't think I could I, I would want them to pay too, so. I think, uh, you know, Richard was initially asking me not to, not to get involved. And I think he's still holding out for that because he doesn't want, he said, he said, that he doesn't, and he doesn't want uh, me to get hurt. Um, He's not the only one. But I I kept coming back to the notion that you know that could have been you. Uh, oh, honey. And TJ's Barry's kid. Oh, that's... Oh, Jesse. Has anybody told him? Yeah, someone got a hold of Jesse. Well... Like I said, I'm not going to... I'm not going to ask you not to do anything because I, I wouldn't want to hear that if I were in your shoes. So, but what I will ask you, just promise me that you'll come home safe, please. I will. Because you know how I am and you know what I've lost. Yeah. And you know how much all of you mean to me. So do what you need to do, but just make sure that you don't leave others mourning in behind. Yeah. I love you. And I just want you to be safe. None of us would be able to bear another loss, I don't think. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, fuck. We do. I'm sorry. Ugh. Um. Oh, man. You know, TJ was one of my first mountain lion rescues. <laughs> <laughs> when I was, yeah, when we, fought, when we all came back, he, he had uh, taken to 
being a lumberjack and living a quiet life in Polito. Mm. And he got mauled by a murder kitty and I came out to rescue him and <laughs> my ambulance wouldn't even go over 60 miles an hour so it took me forever to get to him but he just despite all the pain that he was in he was still able to laugh he had such a great laugh it's one thing I have always liked about him back when he was a cop <laughs> and he'd come in for repairs and then when he wasn't a cop and he'd come in for repairs on his race car trying to be all slick like I didn't know who the fuck it was <laughs> <laughs> his laugh always gave him away I can't believe he was just so larger than life, you know? You don't expect to lose people like that. You always think it what could possibly take out such a powerhouse of a person, right? Ain't no way Lily Pond is showing up to run her mouth. Well, I guess somebody's going to have to fucking learn. Hmm. Sorry. I forever always have my eye on fucking clutter. Okay. That's the one thing I, about this city that I have always despised and it's that nobody has respect for the dead. Mm. Nobody can just stop and realize that there are people who are actually hurting. They just want to throw in their cute little snide comments and... It's one of the ugly things about this city that I've always hated. You know, I think that's probably my biggest regret with my stint as treasurer is that I didn't bring TJ on as a consultant. 
I let them talk me out of it. I think, uh, the very uh, selfish part of me that, or at least the part of me that is geared more toward family, uh, is glad you didn't get the job better. I know. part of me that just was kind of like, oh, thank God, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But I would never want somebody else to suffer because of it, you know? Yeah. Did they even say why they did it, or were they just angry at consequences of their actions I don't know maybe something about legislation that was put in I, I don't know Jesus um yeah God I hope they don't ask me to replace him Honestly, though, I think that uh, even if they do ask, I, <gasps> ow, 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 ow. I'll probably decline. Actually, I know I'll decline. Yeah. Things are bad enough as it is without riling him back up again. <laughs> yeah. So at least you don't have to worry about that. Well, you must have your hands full. Yeah. An entire club full of people in mourning who are going to be bloodthirsty. So, I guess the, the cut means that you're going to openly participate in... Whatever happens. We'll see. I don't know. Right now, I think, uh, my priority, uh, is, <sighs> I spoke with Andy, um, like me and her are planning the funeral. Mm. Yeah. It will definitely have a huge turnout, that's for sure. Yeah. <sighs> 
Do we know if anybody else is... Well, if everybody else is okay? I think they're all about the same at the moment. I should probably message Philippa to see if she's doing. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm on my my blank sim. I can't do that. I gotta wait. I'll bring you back to the house. You do have this number, right? And you have it labeled as call only? Uh, let me see. What's, what's the last, uh, for? 9659. I do not have that. Okay, it's, uh, well, here, let me call you, hold on. Wait, what's your phone number? 420 what? Four two zero eight one two six eight eight nine. There we go. Okay, there you go. Alright, there we go. Yeah, so I've started when i leave the house i always carry the blank one with me so phone calls only mm. um yeah and then i check the other one whenever i'm at home locked away safely smart yeah I wish it weren't necessary, but... Yeah. Especially given everything that, you know, with the ongoing investigation first and all of that. Mm -hmm. At least until the statute is... which its clock is ticking. Mm -hmm. the club holding up uh, yeah. everyone's very outwardly angry inwardly uh, pretty tore up yeah I guess a uh, gang war is on the horizon Shang hasn't left uh, TJ's side for the past day. He's Wait, just... what? Shang, um, he's just... He won't let them take them... Or take him to the morgue until Barry gets there. Because Barry doesn't know yet. What? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. That is something that I'm sure will happen in the next, I don't know, couple of hours. Are you going to be around for that? I'm trying to be. He's going to need you. Yeah. Have you eaten? I have, but... I can't always use food. <laughs> oh, well, I don't have any, but I'm just reminding you, so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, I, uh, I don't know. I, I woke up to check my messages and to uh, 
check the life of my seeds. I'm probably going to be waking up later tonight and going to hang out with Sherry at her warehouse and doing some farming, so. Mm. That'll be what I do uh, while Sean's on duty, so. Okay. God, that's so fucking surreal. I... Yeah. To know that so many are hurting. Ugh, okay. All right. Um, go do your thing. Be there for your club. Thank you, Ada. Of course, of course. And be safe above all else, okay? All right. Oh my god, this door is made of cement. <laughs> it's okay, I got it. It's all right. I love you. Go get you some food and drink. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta Don't starve. I got a killer headache. Thank you. Right, speaking of killer headaches, fuck my ass, dude. Live memes again. Bury the one getting beat up, I presume. What the fuck do you mean, bury the one getting beat up, I presume? What? How did, how did you interpret that? Oh, I see. Oh. You know what? I thought this was Barry, and this was Solomon, but I see what you mean. Like, him getting bombarded with the information. I see. Because the one getting beat up is short. Oh. Yeah, true. Fair enough. All right, Amanda just got back. I'm gonna get my car, say hi to her, and give her smoochies, and then I'm gonna try and shoot back in. Concept Solomon doesn't get blown out because that would give. That would give Solomon what he expects. Just because he expects it doesn't mean it shouldn't happen. Somebody died because of something he did. A high command member, a founding member, died because of something that he fucked up with. <laughs> Baz is going to get on stream tonight and he goes, All right, hey guys. What's going on? <laughs> uh, slow week in role play, huh? I can already tell. I can already tell. I, I I can already hear him saying it. Can I blame it? On, can I blame this on the tarot reading? Don't remind me of the fucking tarot reading. I know. Baz is streaming variety. <laughs> Tweets the second he wakes up. Today's gonna be a good day. I don't know. Hey. 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 What are you doing? I'm. I need to go piss. That's what I'm about to do. Oh, well, I hope you have a good one. Thank you, Damien. Do you have anyone to share it with? <laughs> What the fuck, Damien? The experience. No, no, 
I don't want to share my piss with anyone. Oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> this fucking music is killing me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to cause you any harm. Like, no, no, you're you're okay. Oh, survivor is still happening. Okay. Um, I gotta I gotta take a piss. I'll, I I, what are you doing, Damien? Well, you know, I'm just living life the best that I can. You know, I just got out of a cell wrap. Oh, okay. You should come spectate survivor things if that's an option. I don't know how this works. Yeah, I might do that. Yeah, do it, do it. You could instigate from the sidelines. Right. That sounds like right up your alley. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I'll, oh. um, I'll look into it. We'll talk soon. Okay. okay, all right. I gotta go. Bye. I'm gonna fucking piss my pants. I'll be back. Oh, fuck.
Oh my god, my head hurts. Hello everybody. Woo! What a day, huh? What a day. Oh. You're still releasing the gnome video. Yeah, but it would be in bad taste at the moment. Well, my sincerest apologies for making fun of your voice. That was not my intention. And I think I should probably stop here because otherwise I'll have to continue commenting on your rotted black soul no. and your exterior is just... No, mm. Tassidy, tone it down mm. now. Yeah. If you want to keep playing, we're really going to hear. All right. That being said, which I think there was a lot said here, is there anything else anybody would like to add? Your face sound like... Uh, that was good. We needed that, that. That pretty much summed everything up. Yeah, we needed that as a team, honestly. Yeah, I mean that that team, uh, you know. I'm, I'm peeking in. But maybe she could start it in the end. Regardless of how things things go tonight, somebody will be going home, and we will now get to go to Kwan and go to the Oh my God, drama! Whoa, the torches are so cool. You're allowed to watch? Am I? I have no idea. I mean, I was... <clears throat> Sorry? Did you not know what? Up on top of the rocks. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. I guess I'll have to think about going to the bathroom. Hopefully I don't miss it. <gasps> Stanley.
but both can be right ways, it's fine. She's fucked. I think the chair's loaded for me. I'm back. You know, you got loaded. <laughs> yeah, you're I figured. Out. Yeah, you're out. No, she didn't even announce it yet. She did? Chastity's not here, which means she must be going up to vote. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. No, Honestly, that with. might be real, though, in a minute. Hopefully not, though. Hopefully not. Make me a little guy. A part of me wants to climb the trees. Oh. Why the fuck do I still have a crowbar? This is Andy's crowbar now. Perfect. No, I won't do that. Eh, I might. <laughs> Just get on my box. All right, contestants. <laughs> if anybody has a hidden immunity idol or an advantage that they would like to play, please do so now. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will read the votes. Whoever is eliminated will bring me their torch and say goodbye. Mm. All right, let's see who gets vote. voted out. Swan. Ooh. Second vote, Chastity. Ooh. One vote, Swan. One vote, Chastity. Next vote is Swan. That's two votes, Swan. One Ooh. vote, Chastity. Ooh. Next vote is Chastity. Oh! Two votes Swan, two votes Chastity. Coming down to the wire! The left. The last vote is... Swan. Swan, I'm sorry, but you've been eliminated. Please bring me your torch. Here. Thank you, Swan. Unfortunately, your tribe has spoken. Thank you for playing. It was a joy having you. Feel free to say anything you'd like before you head out. <laughs> yeah. Had fun. Got to know uh, do more about people I don't normally uh, get to meet. Oh. Isn't bad. Thanks, Andy. Sure. Sure. I'm glad. That is why I do it. Yeah. Thank you for playing, mm -hmm. Swan. I wish we didn't have to vote, but... Be forward to the next one. Yep. See you next Bye. time, man. See ya. Alright, contestants. You have made it. Yes, another round. That being said, we are going to go into the last challenge of the day. I'd like you guys to head over to the Bisons and leave your torches behind, please. Okay. Oh my god, it lived another day, man. Well, what happens now? Do we all, does everybody go? Wait, what the fuck is this? Cool. Mm. 
Boo. 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 I don't know. Let's continue. Boo. Ah! Boo. <gasps> Head on now. Coming in here. Oh my God! Hold on. Um, I need to get some tools for fighting. Hoi! Boo. Oh, nice. I need to get the van. Uh, oh, help! <laughs> I'm locked in! Okay, perfect. Uh, Nana doesn't have a car, so you can take it. Help! Nana, come get keys to the bison. <laughs> Eddie, I'm locked in! <laughs> Hey Finn. What you doing? Stuck inside Andy's warehouse. Oh, we can play her. She locked me in. Help. Oh, I don't have a key, but I can offer you moral support. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Fuck. Do you want me to come up? That's it's fine. I mean, Andy was just here. <laughs> Fucking left. <lad. laughs> Fuck my life. Uh <laughs> What you up to, other than being locked in her warehouse? I've sort of just been waiting around so I could talk to everybody that I can. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, um... Yeah, fuck. This is difficult. Ooh, what do I do here? Whoa, cool. Oh, I don't have... Alright, that's fine. Time for a finzy power in your schedule, or...? Um... Uh, so what, 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 what? What? What did you say? Is there time for a Finn Ziggy powwow in your schedule? Uh, I suppose there would be, yeah. Um, if I well, free you from Polito? That's, uh, you know, yeah, I'd like <laughs> sure would love that. Yeah, I need to check in on Andy anyway, so I'll head up to Polito. Oh, she's still doing the survivor stuff. But you're locked in the, you're locked in the, yes. yeah, I'm just going to come keep you company by the door. Okay, that's, okay. <laughs> All right, it's great. Okay, bye. Bye. Help! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Cow a bummer. Ziggy, are you okay? Help! I'm locked. <laughs> Don't worry, surely she'll come soon. Okay, all right. Hey, hey, I'll come. I'll come get you out in a sec. Sorry. You're okay. You're fine. <laughs> I'll be there in a sec. Sorry. You're sorry. okay. You're okay. But you, I think you like it in the there? Way. It's, it's not it so is, bad. It is. It's sick. It, yeah. It's no. It's good. There's you some know? water. It, there's worse places to be it's locked so in. Hydrated. Andy, so Maybe that's, yeah. that's. I was too you slow to it. walk out of the building. There are much worse places to be locked Take in, aren't care. there, Ziggy? What the Ziggy, fuck? Did, what does that mean? Like jail. Yeah, I get, well, I guess that's survive. right. I, 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 I think I'm gonna die in here. Okay, Andy's on her way. Help! It, help! Thank you. I'm stuck. Hey, man. Make it through this. Hey, uh, okay. Can you guys? Uh, can you talk me through how to make food out of uh, fake grass? No idea what the fuck you said. Or maybe rocks. Talking them through something. You guys, can, does anybody know how to make rock into food? Help. Please. We'll, we'll, try, we'll try and get you help. Okay. Have you tried shaking the door? 
That's what Google I'm doing. That's what I'm doing right now. Try harder. Try that's, what do you mean? <laughs> Righty tidy. That's that's not that's that's Turn for screwdriving. To, to the left. I've done both. <laughs> What, what is the tr nutritional value of like a tiki torch? That's I think. I think Ziggy's dead. Help! Is he in there? He's yeah. stuck in there, yeah. Stuck in there, yeah. Help! Help me! I'm gonna start eating rocks soon. Ziggy. Please. Is Ziggy. Is able to get a hold of Andy? Ziggy. Andy's on the way, she said, but. Help! Ziggy! Help me! Help! 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 Hey! It's in memoriam. Hey! Yeah. Wait, in memoriam. I'm in the. I'm in the door. What the fuck? What do you mean you're in the door? Oh I'm shit! Inside. Oh hey. It's unlocked, Ziggy. It's unlocked. Oh. Ziggy, turn. See, oh, hey. all you had to oh. do was turn the door knob. Oh my god! Jump, jump scare! Jesus! What the hell? What the fuck do you mean jump scare? You fucking bitch. Man. Okay. That was, that was not nice. All right, well, you're, you're yeah. safe now. The day I, is safe. MC now. I, yes. I have you a are? I have a kebab. Yeah, look at me. Yeah, but I have a kebab. I remember, like a like a week ago, you're wearing just floral. floral. Yes. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's I've, strange. Yeah. I'm used to the. Why'd you get a new phone number, yeah. Ziggy? I, yeah. I got a new phone number because I was robbed. That's Why'd you get robbed? robbed? Just don't get robbed. Okay, that's okay. Easier said than done, folks. It's actually what are you easy. doing with Rod? No, I'm not doing anything with Rod. <laughs> I thought you were doing flop. No, I am doing flop. I'm married. What? Uh, what the fuck? Uh, what? Tessa, you, you've reaction. been ma we've sorry. been married for years. You knew that. No, I don't like to think Wait, about it. Was, it. Why fuck? not? Damn. Is it because they're like your children and then Why'd like you send me this photo, Ziggy? You want me to take like... care of the Stumbles clown? No, no, I was just saying that Hank was around recently. He was around two days ago, Damn. actually. Two yeah. days. Maybe yeah. one day I'll run into him. I know, it's like you, the stars have to align for it, but he was around. There's a reason I put bunk bed in your room. What the fuck? What the? That's okay, as long as nice. I'm in the top bunk. <laughs> hey, excuse me, Stanley. Uh, no. Yeah, I am. Th oh, thank sorry. you. It's thank you, fam. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't think I was hitting you. Sorry. Hit him I again. You, Ziggy. You're welcome. Thank you, fam. I don't want to hit him again. I like oh. it. Man. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, well, thanks for coming to my rescue, guys. Oh, I think he broke we my just, leg. We were just kind of like, like uh, right loitering. here. <laughs> I heard you got trapped in there, and, yeah. uh, you know, I felt bad. Th oh, thanks. I think you're the only one, I think. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, that does... I don't Man. know if I feel better about that anymore. <laughs> what but you fuck? should. I heard TJ Walker die. That's, uh, you know, sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Jesus, okay. Yeah, that was fucking... <laughs> lay that on me. Fuck me. Uh, yeah, no. That... Yeah, that happened. Did you... Have you okay, did you have you heard about that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would have been that would have been crazy. Yeah, that would have been a real bad way for me to find out. Yeah, it would have yeah, from Stanley. Stanley so of maybe. People. Right. You don't say it like that next time. A, a little more tact, Stanley. Well, I was saying I'm sorry for your loss. Well, thank, thank you. I was being considerate. Thank you. I mean, I guess it is kind of considered con coming from Stanley. It's. Ish. If he was still a cop, I would have been a lot meaner. Okay. He hasn't been a I cop fucking, I hate everything. Oh, there we go. Holy fuck. <laughs> Should have played this earlier during one of the more emotional moments. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> This one, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't even need to be an emotional moment. You can just fucking play this. Sad.
Coin flip win? I can do it now. Alrighty. Three, two, one. Tails. Nice. <laughs> now play this shit? What is this shit? You just take away the playlist I was on, you fucking asshole. Never mind. Don't you fucking dare up. I fucking I had a hip up. I swear to God, I'm gonna shit my pants and I'm gonna throw it at you. What the fuck? You're gonna shit your pants? That's right. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Alright. Works every time. Oh, Fox just subscribed, Jammies. Oh, Fox, thank you. Oh, wait, Fox, thank you for the 26 months. Oh, my eyes hurt. Hello. Let me call Finn. Hey. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, I, I was going to go do a roof run because I thought you were doing survival stuff. Uh, I was just spectating. You're just all good. Um, if you're in the middle of doing stuff, go for it. Uh, and then just come no, 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 come down, come, come down to. Uh, you do you want to stay in Polito? Uh, I could be anywhere, honestly. Come down to um underneath Del Perro Pier. Uh oh my God, yeah, that just blew up my car. Yep, that just blew up my car. Yep. Yep, that just blew up my car. No way it didn't.
I like that song, it was nice. Did I lose? It was Tails, so whatever you picked. Almost big Norman. Alright, let's find out if my car is fucking blown up. No way! It lived! Oh, let's go. Huge. God, I hate this gas station at night. Ugh. I'm gonna go roof running with Finn. I can't go roof running. He's gonna want. He's gonna try and make me go roof running. Somebody tell Baz to fucking wake up. <laughs> Somebody tell Baz to uh, press uh, start stream, please. So I can fucking, uh, fucking go to bed. Still an hour. Fuck you mean an hour. Bitch, what? Bro, I can't be. I, whoa, how does this motherfucker expect any overlap? Go take a small nap. I, dude, I, I don't know who this is. Hey, I, I had a headache. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Um, oh. I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, mm, no, okay. Um, north of Vespucci, right near Del Perry Pier on the building, uh, on the promenade. 
North Vespucci, right under the Del Perro Pier near the Promenade. Yeah, so there's a building that I'm on the roof and I'm roof running, so. I see, okay. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like a big long one. If you come here, I'll, uh, I'll link up with yours. Okay. Yeah, sick. Alright, later. Just Seems like. Oh my god. Don't die. Everything's fine. And, and, okay. Do not, do not I die. lied. My... Please. Uh, oh, it's still running. That's good. Do you have a repair kit on you? Uh, yes. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Fuck, I failed. Okay. Alright. I'm on the I way. do not have a repair kit on you. Where are you? Um, I forgot the grab. Wait, is your, car, is your car moving? It's moving. It's smoking, oh, but okay. it's moving. Oh, you chillin' there, you chillin'. Okay. Okay, alright. Seems like. 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 Hang up, bitch. I'm fucking... I can't. I'm roof running. I'm oh, hacking. My fault. I'm driving. Right, okay. but... <laughs> Excuse me. Have we even done power hour? No, it's been too fucking busy today to do power hour. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I don't know which building he was fucking talking about, but I know he's somewhere around here. Oh wait, I have a fucking radio, don't I? Ben, you on this radio? <coughs> Fuck. Is it 333.1 or some shit? Been you on this radio? Fuck my life, dude. Eight hundred and fifteen buckaroos. You're rich. That's right. You want the radio? Are you are you asking me? Do I want you to tell me the radio? Because no. <laughs> Oh, is this where he is? This is where he is. <laughs> it's 69, 420. Thanks, chat. <sighs> yeah, that is kind of funny that you both managed to say that at the same time. I'm at Ikea. Um, okay. I am, I... Let me loop around here. Do you know where Ikea is? I can infer. Yeah, because it's yellow and blue. Yes, yeah. Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. Mm. Hey, I'm behind you. Right here. Oh. Uh, oh, you, 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 you got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like not everyone would get that. Yeah, that's... No, I got that's it. An, that's, that's one of our old, old pullouts. It's, uh, I want to say that I heard it at one point. <laughs> we, used to have a, we used to have a warehouse in that building uh, where we kept a bunch of meth and guns. Alright. <laughs> yeah. 
It was the Prospect Methan Gun Warehouse. Huh, okay. Yeah. <sighs> oh, fuck. Alright, well, thank you for the repair. Are yeah, you good? Um, you mind oh. running up with me just to the fence, just so I can just get all this shit sorted? Sure, yeah. Yeet. Yeah. Broken crowbar. Mm hmm. A crow bee. Ugh, yeah, that bit been sitting in my apartment for like three months. Fair enough. <clears throat> so you're just out here now, just fucking loud and proud and shit like that? I would say proud, not loud at the moment. Um, definitely, you know, I'm staying cleanish. Uh, mm -hmm. just feels, doesn't feel right not to be wearing it. Yeah, no, you're good. You do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, I've been a day. Mm-hmm. I know, uh... You've been through a lot of uh, shit like this. So, it, you know... It's sort of... It's easier for you to have it sort of... You know, bounce off your shoulders, but... I'm I'm all good. Um, like yeah, I've been through this shit before, and it sucks. Uh, and it hurts. It hurt in the moment. I got angry. I got mad. I got sad. I felt it all. Um, I took my fucking anger out on that fucking doctor that was just in the vicinity. Um, but it's time to work. You know, I've got uh, I've got ways that I can cope and deal. But you know, right now, uh, I, trust me, it's not like my fucking my own thoughts are going unheard. You know, I've. I, Rue has been fucking amazing at just being there for me and just letting me decompress mm. and shit like that. Um, but, you know, Club Finn, Club, Finn, Club needs Club Finn. So Club Finn will be Club Finn and Finn's emotions are getting taken care of separately. So, Well, Finn's emotions don't need to be, you know, alone. Uh, that's, that's, you know, where I would like to, you know, not necessarily step in, just be a part of, frankly, because I'm this has uh, been a lot for me as well, so yeah, uh, no man, I know um I, you, you and a, a select other few in the club, I've got like absolutely um, no uh constraints about just letting you know how I feel and shit like that Mm -hmm. Um, I got nothing to fucking hide from you. Um, you know, so don't worry about only seeing Club Finn, because you won't, but for everyone else out there, that's that's who they're going to see, you know? Mm -hmm. That's what they need. Um, but yeah, this, this shit is probably really fucking hefty on you as well. Like, uh, I know you probably fucking lost people in the PD, and um, probably even before then that I'm not clued in about, people outside of, you know, just... You know, we lose people. That's just the way it goes. Like, every life has an end. And we we who are left behind have to deal with that every single time it happens. And, you know, I tell I tell people in this club that it never gets any easier. You just learn how to deal with it better. Um, and, you know, same goes now. Like, this shit sucks. I'm feeling it. But, you know, I'm moving on. And mm. it's going to suck for you as well. And I know you're probably really fucking feeling it heavy as well. But... Yeah, man. Um, if there's any solace you can take in the fact that, you know, uh, I've lived through this shit as well and, you know, I understand everything that you're probably feeling right now, then, uh, yeah, at least I hope you can take some solace on that, you know? Um, yeah. Uh, I know that, like you said, you, uh, you, you, you definitely... You know, experience shit like this before, but and it's and I know that there is a lot that needs to be done, and it's good that you're, you know, you're sort of really spearheading that front. Um, but I think a lot of us are guilty of, you know, throwing ourselves at what needs to be done rather than, you know thinking about what has actually happened so 
I, I'm not saying that that's, you know, what's going on with you, but just don't, don't press too hard if, if you don't need to, you know? Yeah, no, I know. And there's a time for both and both are important. Um, but yeah, you know, um, yeah, not to diminish one or the other, but yeah, it's, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I know what I got to do to get through this shit and I'll be, I'll be all right. Okay. It's everything that comes from now that's going to set the tone of, uh, the club for ever, probably. Yeah. Yeah. When we lost Jordan back in the day, um, that changed the way the club operated forever. This is going to be no different. Yeah. All right. Okay. Fuck. You good? Yeah, I've. I think I've talked with almost everybody today. Yeah, I'm probably way too much. <laughs> Yapped your fucking tongue off. Uh, yeah, but it's not a bad thing. You know? Um, man, this ah, uh, this Solomon shit really fucking irks me. What will happen will happen. I I. Right. Fuck. What has happened has happened. There is nothing to change that. Yeah. All that he can give us is his perspective. Yeah. And then the you know, the rest comes after. It's uh it's one of them things. Uh seen it happen before. Circumstance very much like this one. At least it feels like it in terms of tone. One way or the other, it will be sorted out. And no matter what, the club will be better for it. No matter what outcome that may be. Yeah. I mean, that... At best, it was just a, you know, a royal fuck up at worst. What, you know, like, what was, why did that, whatever, I'm fucking speculating. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna burden you with my own thoughts and opinions about the situation. Okay, it's not our duty to make judgment until we, you know, hear all perspectives. Yeah, yeah. But I will say that inaction is still an action. No matter what way you slice it. Agreed. Choosing not to do anything gets people killed. So, we'll see where it all ends. Alright, can you take me to the to the fence, please? Sure. I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna chuck all this in your boot. Yeah. Is. I'm gonna be my head for like 30 seconds. Sure, you're gonna have to mark the fence because I don't, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is new to me. This is where we're gonna start introducing you to the criminal world. Andy texted.
All right. I don't suppose you got any automatic uh, transmissions for sale, do you? I can get you one for 2k. Ooh, okay. I might do it. I'm also torn because I'm also I'm biling, uh, I'm buying guns. Biling? Eh, 2k is not that much. No, I, don't. I just don't make any money. Go back to doing regular civ shit for a bit. See if I can make some extra cash. Yeah, maybe ask Flop for a loan. I might. Honey, can I have some money to buy guns? <laughs> Honey. He's gonna take the news. Flop? Yeah. I I can't remember if they were if they talked much. I know that they were friends, but Of your family, no? Yeah. Uh, where am I parking? Right back? Right in front. Okay. Right. Oh, right. Oh, right. right in this little, yeah. Oh, I see. I so, see like, this guy. Right in front of the tankers, yeah, this guy. <laughs> there you go. And these tankers blow up, so just be careful. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we just give everything to this guy. His name is Antoine, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I knew your name. Yes, you're my best friend. <laughs> Love you so much. Uh, and then you just give him all this shit, and then he just rummages through his pockets for all the money for you. <laughs> Baby Grim lessons on the sly, yeah. <sighs> I usually try and get a roof run done every night or so. Yeah. It's about, um, on average, like, $1,800 to $2,800. Oh, nice, okay. Yeah. It's in dirty money, so obviously, you know, you can't use that immediately, but... Mm. It's, not, it's a nice little cash injection over the day. Especially if you get really good in it, you can end up getting all the, um, all the parts and shit. Hmm. Um, I need to drop this off from your pocket. Do you mind? Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna keep the money funnel going. Yeah.
lockdown in prison going on. Yeah, I heard it. Appreciate it, thank you. Um, I have the, yeah, I've got the money. Uh, what you want to do for money? We can go do towing or some shit. Uh, I'm just sort of biding my time at the moment. I'm... You know, until Barry wakes up. Uh, so, huh? What? Until Barry wakes up. Yeah. Yeah. That's all good. I'll just hang out with you until then. Hang if you want. Um... I gotta... Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind. Talkative. I'm just. I've been talking all day. So. No. No. Just. Sometimes you just need someone to be with. You know, just to breathe with. Just to know that they're next to you and that they've got your back. You know, and you don't need to talk and fill the air. Just know that I'm with you and I got your back. bring your car anywhere mm, no it's fine I'll get it when I need to okay Well, did Shang uh, say that they were waiting for, um, or that they would prefer, uh, like, uh, Barry be told by, I know, is, is Andy Irish or... I think it was High Command and Family. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it was just Command and Family if Shang was included. In that mm.
Rainbow Turkey. Nobody else may have gotten that joke, but I did, and I just want to say that I appreciate it. It's funny. <laughs> I get the joke. All right, Jenny. Nobody asked. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm gonna go check in on, uh, I think Shank's still here, so. Okay. I'll come with you. I am trespassed, but I don't think they give a fuck, and quite frankly, neither do I. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Hey guys. No, with my fist. What are you talking your, about? Your fist. Well, yeah, but you'd use that to take them down. Combat style, right? Do some rolls, do some wrestling, give them a little one, two punch. Do I have food? Fuck. Just checking. gathers later i'd like to say it all again but yeah you'll have your time to say it uh we will hopefully barry wakes up in the near future uh and uh yeah we'll go from there do you know where solomon is now nope he's around though i just spoke to him mm. oh lucky We're going to speak about this um, at some point. Yeah. Okay. okay. For now, just uh, don't relay anything that you've spoken to us or anything of the sort to anyone, including him. Uh for obvious reasons. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, we had another meeting earlier. Uh, just to get everyone on the same page, um, but essentially we are prepping for war, so that cannot get out to anyone. But it is something to keep in mind. I mean, I'm sure half the city probably assumes regardless. I was going to say people probably know, but... Yeah. yeah. Especially those that were around to know what we did, like, way back in the day when Jordan died. They're going to know how we react. Just assume they're going to know. I was doing some thinking on that, because, again, the prospect of that was talked about between me and Kelly this morning. If I had to guess, you know, a, a lot of their heavy hitters are in Boiling Brook right now. They've had about a day to essentially plant their feet down in that area, 
they're probably kitted. They probably have. They're probably taking the place over. I, mean, I saw a fucking post that said K Town is back or whatever the fuck K Town yeah. did. We just drove by. Uh, the alarm was going off. It's locked down there. So yeah. Yep. So here's my thought. Initially, they're probably worried that uh. You know, we'd go after the people that directly did it, and so they probably armed them to the teeth. If y'all were looking to hurt them as an organization, it would potentially benefit efforts to hit the people they have on the outside first. Which, from what I gather on who's in there, might be their B team who's still out. It's not going to obviously be pretty. It might be kind of a slaughter. But... Because look at it like this. Even if they have shit in the prison, mm -hmm. they're still going to need a steady flow inward. You cut that off, they're not as strong in there. And then who knows, maybe a car goes over the fence with six guys in it, all blacked out, fully kitted. Silence is take him out at that point. He's fucking wanting blood, dude. He is thinking we kill them inside yeah, that fucking prison. Yeah, no, I get you. Okay. The siege um, on Dogtown is real. Holy we'll, uh, fuck. We'll probably talk about this uh later. I don't mm -hmm. know exactly when. We just, uh, <laughs> uh, essentially Holy when Barry to wake up. Uh and we'll go from there. Has anyone had any sort of communication with him at all? Mm. Yeah, I have. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What'd you What'd um, you say if you don't mind me asking? Like, what What's he oh, What's he know? Just tell him shit went down. You gotta wake gotcha. up. Yep. Nothing. Uh. Nothing that should be said in an email. Let's say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank God. All right, I'm uh, I'm here till he gets here. Um, Same. Everyone else, just uh, do what you feel you need to do. I mean, it's just a matter of waiting at the moment. This is the nerd. Hunter, nice to meet you. I'm Rain. Um, you need food here or anything? I can make a run for you. Oh, if you could, that'd be fucking amazing. Yeah. But uh, as for the rest, just be ready for shit to to move very quick. Uh. In the near future, so I've I've said this before, but just keep that in mind. Should should will move fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is everyone okay? I mean, I know it's a redundant question, but everyone holding it together. Yeah. Yeah. Always. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh. uh Let's move on. All right, I'll get on that food run for you. Anyone want to come shit. with? I'll come with you, Charles. Thank you. Hey, Finn. Hey. Did you find Barry's dad? Oh, good. He replied to your name. Uh, I ran here, and I almost got followed. So if you have a car, mm -hmm. it's yours. Yeah, yeah. We got one uh, around the other yeah, side. Say again? I uh, got, got one around this side here. Alright. Uh, let me, I'm gonna let Finn know. Hey, uh... Alright, let me know if you need anything. Yeah. Finn, we're, uh, we're gonna, I was gonna go with uh, Loki to pick up some food and shit, and I was gonna come back here and hang out, to be honest. Okay. Um... Mm. I don't know what I wanna do, honestly. Mm. <sighs> Fuck. Shut. Uh, 
I'll, I'll bring it around. Yeah. Uh, you mind if I just get a lift back to my car then? Sure, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. I'll jump in the trunk. Lucky, did you want me to drop you straight off, or did you want to... Uh, so I was going to drop you off a, to get food, and then I was going to go drop Finn off, and then come I'm back I'm thinking you. about it. I don't know if I want to get food in this outfit. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll drop Finn off first. Alright. I'll be there with you, but if you don't mind ordering... I mean, I'll pay for it for what it's worth. I offered to, but... If you could just handle the vocal part of it. Sure, yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. No we'll see you soon, Finn. Yeah, see you guys. If we meet, I'm going to assume it'll probably be at the Mirror Park House. Yeah, probably. Alright. Oh, man. After we uh, drop the food off, I might uh, head over there. Yeah, fair enough. Just wait for people to gather. Did you want to change quickly since we're just right here? Uh, yeah. Someone. Are you holding up with all this? I know it's got to be a lot for you to take in, considering. Uh, well. I had the opportunity to say some words last night in private, which was uh, comforting, regardless of how well I actually knew him. I had known of him for quite a long time before then. Honestly, was doing more or less okay until I heard other things, like more specific stuff, but I felt like how it all went down. Yeah, I, uh, uh, Irish told me, uh, you know, because he told me in confidence, because he figured, you know, since I was doing chaplain stuff anyway, that I should know, um, I I can't wrap my head around the Solomon thing. Yeah. There's uh there's some context I have. I spoke with him this morning mm -hmm. that uh I'll be sharing, you know, when we all convene. Mm -hmm. Um it's not absolvent, but Assuming what he said is true, it provides some sort of clarity as to where his head was at when it all was going down. Mm -hmm. So. I think, uh, at best, it's just a royal fuck up. Yeah. At best.
Actually, you know what? Fuck up. Take it on. I'll walk ahead. Oh, I was saying, I'll. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'll, I could walk ahead just in case. Vincent Walker got shot for less. Yeah, that's that's the problem with this is that you know it's a uh, it's a royal fuck up. Let's say best case scenario, best case scenario. It was just reckless and negligent. I still think that he would be shot. someone has told you at this point yeah I went to the hospital when I woke up cause, uh, when I was going to sleep they had just taken him to the ICU so I uh, I went to uh, the hospital right when I woke up today and uh, Shang took me in to see him I know, uh, Andy, is, she's wrapping up, Hello. um, that, the, the event she had going, yeah. and then after that, uh, yeah. oh, hey guys, you alright? Hey, Elio. After that, uh, hopefully, we're thinking... Yeah. Barry will be around. Hey, wanna race? And I think, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're I think, yeah. I think we're all hoping that you and Andy, you know, get to be the one who, you know, be the ones who talk to him. Because, you know, it just feels right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'd do it. I'd do it if we can arrange it. Yeah, I haven't even talked to Andy yet. I, like you say, she's wrapping up the event. Yeah. Does she? She knows then, does she? Yeah. Um, she knows. I I spoke with her earlier, and uh, she said that the last conversation she had with TJ was talking about this, you know, the survivor thing, and just doing more stuff like it and that TJ was really excited to you know help her out with it and she felt that it may be doing him a disservice if she didn't at least try yeah well I understand that yeah um I'll, I, I'll shoot her a text and let her know to get a hold of you as soon as possible yeah I'm gonna put my uh, I don't know if she's got my new number or not yet she might still have my old one put myself in the lemon list or whatever Hopcap Jones can I interview you right now Jesus. right this very second it's very important it's you might get you might get a sad hubcap I know okay <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll let All right. I'll let her know. If you could uh, accept that request on your phone, it's a consent form. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Um, I mean, obviously, you've heard the news, and it's a bad day. Um, 
I, uh, I'm, I'm trying to be tactful uh, about everything and try to make sure that, you know, everyone's okay. Um, what do you think about the entire situation? Jesus Christ. Sorry. It's okay. Well, I don't, I don't really know much. Uh, when I was going to bed last night, they brought TJ into the ICU, and I got to see him. And then this morning when I woke up, I went to the hospital to check on him, and he was already gone. Why so many tears? Yeah. And, I'm so sorry. Yeah. And that's, that's pretty much all I know. I'll be honest with you. I, I heard that someone shot up the city council meeting. And you were there and a couple people were there, but that's it. Yeah, it was uh, the entire city council was there. They all yeah. got shot except for a handful of us were yeah. for whatever reason spared. Hmm. Yeah, that's honestly, that's all I know this that's time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I was just more kind of talking. Let me put this away. Yeah, I'm just I'm actually just needing that for Earl. But like, really, when it comes down to it, like, you know, we're people and I, I feel your pain. And I'm yeah. so, so sorry you have to deal with this. Like, TJ was amazing. Yeah. I was so happy when he was made treasurer because I really felt that he could add so much to this city. Oh, yeah. Big time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you're all right too. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I got very lucky that they didn't sh shoot me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's quite the thing. I mean, my guess is that you know, a lot of people don't bother to shoot the cameraman anymore right. if they yeah. think it might be me. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Oh, Wait. what Wait. a thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we should take a oh, look. Yeah, you two could yeah. talk. Sorry. No. no, it's okay. I'm glad you're all right, Ursula. Thanks, up, Cap. Hey. All right. Much love. Yeah, same to you. Same to you. Uh, I got uh, a car just uh, in the parking lot over there. I got to let somebody know, and then uh, we have somewhere to go. I think Barry's okay. around, so. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be over there in a sec. Sorry, uh, I ordered a big order, man. It's going to be a minute. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Fuck. I'll come and pick him back up. Excuse me. Uh... Fuck. Okay. Yeah, let's go. It's Ziggy, by the way, Hubcap. I didn't know. I just, I know that I sort of started talking there for a minute. Oh, no. I recognize your voice. Okay. All right. and say he's on his way to the hospital. I'm sure people texted him. I'm sure. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna park around on the side. I'll I'll drop you off here. Hi. Hello. I'm back where you parked. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the way. I just, I saw Hubcap and I, I was like, okay, I need to. And then I saw Barry tweet and I, I was, I just drove Hubcap to the hospital. So I'm on the okay. way back now. All right. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Building store, please. Yep. Um, one of the non suspicious ones. Like, uh, go straight over to MRPD. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, it sounds like building's just too hot to put a cut on for me. All right. Uh, there's a new one over here about that fucking casino. Oh yeah, that one over too. All right. Sorry, I totally forget about that one. It's all right. I'm uh, you know I'm just learning myself. Let me scoot. There you go. Other door to your right. Yeah, that is not it. <laughs> oh, hi, Bubba. <gasps> Thank you. Wow, cute shirt. Cute shirt. Mm. I like the pup. You're good. Thank you for this. Yeah, I, yeah, I like that pup. Boobas. <laughs> That's right. I have black bars on. I'm supposed to be immersed. That's weaving. Thank you, baby. Park around back. My turn. It's my turn. It's your turn. Classic green. Oh, classic. Rip. Is he not here yet? No. Hubcap was here. Where is he? Uh, 
he walked in and then he walked out. I don't know where he went. I just saw him outside the front. I don't know if he's still there. Fuck. Got it. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Alright, I gotta, I gotta go here. Uh, I'll talk to you later on. See ya. Bye. Uh, Barry hasn't called you, has he? Nope. You wanna try and give him a ring? Yeah, I could do. <clears throat> he doesn't know anything. Not that I know. Barry. Hey. Hey. Are you still going? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'd say you should show. I bet. Okay. Um, Hubcap is at the hospital. He just got on the phone with Barry. Be there when I can be there. Okay. Uh, if you need a ride that is faster than your car, you let me know. Yeah, I will. Okay. Okay. Yep, you too. Ah, what the so, fuck? I'm so sorry. What so the sorry. fuck was <laughs> that? So what the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> What the fuck? Ow! Fuck! <laughs> what the fuck? Here, here, here! I put thank, bandages. Thank, I can't thank give you. them to you. That's okay. Right you, that's, that's all right. <laughs> what the fuck? I think uh, she went to hang up the phone as she was running at me and double clicked and just fucking decked me. <laughs> Just, pulling a gun. Yeah. Ignore me. Sorry. Yeah, those, uh, that Vigero is fucking cursed, didn't it, D? Oh, yeah. It's gonna go yeah, flying in a minute. Not yes, not it is. The most cursed car in the city. Stand over here for, like, for, like, a minute or two. It, it'll actually, it's really therapeutic. It's really therapeutic. <laughs> So, he woke up, and just right about when he woke up, he got a call from Dundee. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Yeah, what a way to find out. Um, he thought he was fucking with him, obviously. But then he opened up his phone and saw a bunch of text messages, you know? Right. Uh, he, uh, he was just out at our old house in the country that Andy and... TJ and Barry and I had, so, uh, you know, I, I told him it was real and that a bunch of you boys are here and I'm here if he wants to come and see TJ, you know. So uh, I told him to take his time and drive safe and uh, we'd be waiting here for him. Okay. So uh, he should he should show up here at some point here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Is it 
bit uh, bit tough when you being back there. What's that? I was asking if it was tough for you just being back there. Being back there? Just near the room. Oh, no, no. I, I already went and said goodbye to him. Okay. It doesn't bother me to be back there. No, 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 no. Hey. I'm okay. Hey. Uh, Hubcap. No. Hubcap just called him. He's on his way. Uh, he wants me to meet with him. I'm gonna go do that. Oh. And we'll we'll come back here. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you okay, Grandpa? Yeah, I'm all right, man. I'm uh. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm hanging in. Barry will be here in a bit. He's just driving from the house in the country up by Sandy Shores there. Yeah. That we used to have. So uh, he'll he'll be here shortly. Yeah, he will be. Okay. Cops in the ICU. Yeah, apparently. Oh, oh not fucking... again. No, I need it. Oh, no. I'm going back. No. <laughs> um... Fucking Camaro. Yeah, my, mine does the no, same stop. thing. Stop! Stop! Oh, doing that! Stop it! Oh, stop! Stop it! Stop Camaro! It. Stop oh. doing Camaro! Daddy! Daddy! Jesus Christ, you fucking piece of shit! Stand on top of it, you won't. Ah, uh, it's no not more. doing it anymore. Ah, uh, never mind. You forget who I was? <laughs> Do it. You got up. I'm on the roof. I fucking mm -hmm. full set punched this guy in the face by accident when I walked into Oh, you're, you're ADMC. I thought... I, so you're, you're fully in, aren't you? Uh, yeah. I have been for a while. I did not know that. Yeah. That sort of on purpose. That's Ziggy Bugs. <laughs> yeah. It used to be a ranger. I'm dead. <laughs> Can't part that shot. Oh, no, we can't. Hey, bark, bark, bunch of my right guys. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Sweet Jesus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, reckon, I reckon that'll buff out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it'll be fine. I think we have nothing to. Okay, Elliot, I'm gonna get you inside. Let's get the fuck away from here. Careful. <laughs> hey, oh he's gonna way. need a doctor. Hey. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what so, happened? Uh, the car's got the zoomies. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's worse than a carnado. That's like um, car slammo. I don't yeah, know what that is. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, my brother. Oh, yeah, my God. How you doing, boss? Yeah, I'm okay. You good? Yeah, I'm all right. This is just a slight right. thing oh, for me. Fuck. Ooh, yeah. fuck. Is this a, so this is a normal thing for you? Uh, Well, you know that I do drive that particular kind of car, and it is it does do that. I think your first car uh, was mm. All right. Yeah. Good shit. Yeah. Good shit. Yeah, this one isn't mine, but it mine does do this. You're, you're that just, particular just, model? It's this exact <laughs> model that does this. This exact model? Yeah. Have you, have you tried not to do that? Uh, it's. I I certainly have. <laughs> hey. 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 I'm just saying exorcisms are a thing. Hi. Okay. Is car? Right out here? Yeah. Um, my God. well, I don't know if you got the text from I've the got, doctor. You can, you can exercise technically anything you want. Um, People, objects. Uh, I, uh, I rarely I'm not sure. exercise. I just Rain, mom. Uh, well, what? Damien is currently in the ICU what? when you are a contact. Uh, what? He had an accident. Yeah. Um, he's not really himself today. So I, I had some people called and we were trying to fix him and people got a little too rough with him. I see. Oh. <clears throat> I wondered if you were over there. Yep. Yeah. What? Oh, God. Okay. He's not goth anymore. I don't know how to fix him. Um. 
Maybe we say really sad stuff and that helps. I don't know, actually. Yeah. Uh. I don't know if I want to say really sad stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't either. Fuck. Okay, so some guys roughed them up and... Yeah, what, 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 what happened? Um, well, I I called some people down Hello. to come and take a look at him because he was mm -hmm. acting all funny. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Osvaldo kind of thought karate chopping him might help. And... I think he fell down funny and it hurt his lungs and now he has to be intubated. Oh god. Okay. I don't think Osvaldo meant for this to happen. Yeah. And Damien did kind of consent to it. Mm -hmm. Although I don't know if he really realized what he was saying. <laughs> kind of happened quickly. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how to, I'm, I'm just hoping that when he wakes up, he'll be okay. Yeah. He, he took the election thing pretty hard, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, joy spiraling, I think he dubbed it. Yeah. How do I fix that? I have no idea. How do I take someone's joy? Yeah, I've got no clue. Maybe I should keep him this way. Did you think of the prime for 28 months? I appreciate it. What? No. I say we but, we crank I mean, Evanescence up to 10. Wake me up. You know? Maybe that would help. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a good idea. I think that would be... It might be good. <laughs> I'll you know? make sure to get one of her albums and bring it in. That'd be good, yeah. You know, he's been, he's been in a, you know, just doing this campaign shit for so long, and now that you know it's all said and done, he's sort of not feeling great. Maybe he needs to wake up from his joy spiral. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to let you know. Um, his other contact was Cornwood, but mm -hmm. due to the beeping that I heard as I came in here, uh, <laughs> I don't think he'll be by. No, probably not. Um. But. Uh. Damien, if you can hear me, I swear to God, you better, you better wake the fuck up. Okay. Los Santos is worse off without your talents, and I know I'm not, I'm not very good that's at. That's true. I'm I'm not very good at, at expressing these things normally, uh, but that's yeah, uh, that is a me thing and not a you thing. Fuck. Oh, fuck. God, I'm spinning. It's weird to say, but it's a brighter place without your little corner of darkness, and that's the worst. I agree. That's... Huh. <laughs> it's weird to say, but it I don't is. know how else to explain it. Yeah. More ego boost, please, Ziggy. <laughs> how are we doing in here? I feel the urge to... Say that he was the coolest, most gothest guy that I have known or ever will ever know. Mm -hmm. Is he's got crazy voice, you know, incredibly talented musician. It's true. Yeah. I don't know about that one. I gotta go. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> Who 
coup... Euh... Who is around that isn't here? Where's Kelly? Oh, oh Kelly's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think this is everyone as far as I'm aware. Okay. Do either of you have any food? Uh, I don't. Um, I mean, sec, let me. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, I got you. Behind. I did. I'm. Who left the sunflower? <laughs> hey. That is such a big sunflower. Holy shit. How'd you find one that big? I grew it. That is fucking huge. It's cute. It's nice. Yeah. Annoying bandaging the whole way. Oh, the pocket watch. Oh, now I'm sad. What the fuck? <laughs> Why does Tessa have an <laughs> outfit that's almost exactly like one of Ziggy's? Hey, Tessa. Hey. Hey. Going on. Just uh, <sighs> uh waiting, I, I guess. There's uh people who are coming to see him. Is that Colin? Is that Custard? The fuck was that? Ranger shit. Yeah, true. <laughs> Tessa knows how it happened? Yeah, Tessa knows. I was trying to think, why would Lily Pond be upset at TJ? And then I remembered the Bundy Bunch arc, and TJ fucking hated those guys. So, you know what? Never mind. I remember now. <laughs> I was like, why is, why is Pond being an asshole? But then I remembered. <clears throat> Sorry, that was just a thought from way earlier. Anyway. <laughs> um, I think I'll wait. Uh, do anything, but are you guys gonna have a service at any point? Uh, me and Andy are uh, gonna plan something. Okay. Yeah. Could you keep me posted? Yeah, absolutely. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, Tessa. Hmm. 
I'll be back. <laughs> oh yeah, Kiki's in the other bed, I forget. Damn, everybody dying? I have to take a drive. Uh, I'm over here. Oh, yeah, this is oh, where I'm we so take sorry. people that are rude. In I am rude. Sorry. I am Groot. Um, I'm not doing this. Stop. <laughs> Sick hydraulics, thanks. It fully comes off the ground for more than a second. Hey. Hey, uh, uh, are you, what's going on? They're going to vote shortly and then I'm free. Okay. Um, where? Like shit show. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where, tell me where you'll end up. Uh, I mean, I'll be done at tribal in a little bit. Okay. Oh, I see you. Come on. All right. Okay. Bye. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I'm still here. I'm just looking at something. You're good. Should I wait outside? Uh, no, you don't have to. I mean, they're still, like, scheming and plotting and stuff, so we've got a little time. Okay. You're okay. You're doing great. Alright. I'm gonna fucking chill up here. Uh, 
fucking shit show? I watched some of it a little bit a little bit ago earlier, but not a lot. I had oh, well, yes, there's a lot happening. You miss the crazy shit. Damn. I heard people arguing. That's a nice way to put it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cool. Do you want to see something? Sure, yeah. I'm just going to put it... Oh. Oh, never mind. I can't show you. Sorry. No, it's okay. I got given uh, some rare wall art to give people Ooh. a surprise from Scraps the Raccoon. Oh, that's, that's nice. I'm sorry. One of them's an island, and one is... <laughs> Huh. A bunch of raccoons reading a book. <laughs> oh, cool. It's to end with flowers. Oh. Wow. But one's also an island. And it looks very survival-y. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we hit our copium and hope that that's a... This is just a... This is a... Sneak peek. Surely. Whoa, that'd be sick. Surely Andyland will be a real thing. Andyland. Andyland. Oh, yeah. What's that, Kiki? Oh, it's Kiki. Yeah, head Pandora. across the street. You do your thing. Ask, answer questions if any, but... Mm-hmm. Just make sure nobody steals anything if you're going to hang out in here. Uh, I can wait outside. No biggie. All right. Wait. Oh wait, I need to put more torches before we leave. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. I go oh, no Barry. I would highly recommend that my lawyer call me. Uh, yep, yeah, that is that is yep. Yeah. Let me make sure that I'm texting the right number. I think I am. I think it's fine, but yeah, I am. Corrid, yeah. I guess he knows about Solomon then. Are you not his lawyer? He's referring to Solomon, we know. Tempted to call him.
Fuck it. <sighs> there. Oh, hey, Ziggy. Uh, I don't know if you got my text, but it's fine. I figured, you know, you've got a lot going on anyway. Uh, I'm with Andy, and I'll I'll be driving her down here when she's done wrapping up uh, Survivor stuff. Yeah, we uh, I think we're overdue for a little chat. So I agree. I'm quite soon. All right. Sounded mad. I'd be mad. You should be mad. Uh, Solomon, before we put this bullet in your skull, do you vote yes to me being chaplain? <laughs> Just quickly before you go. Very a lot more than mad. Oh yeah. Only need three votes now. <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> if he wasn't mad, I think everybody would be scared. Mm -hmm. Wait, what if Solomon says yes to Ziggy being chap chaplain? Does that is that a negative or a positive for Ziggy? Oh God! Actually, never mind, gentlemen. Keep your comments to yourself. <laughs> you already have two out of three, don't you? Yeah, Irish and Ed have both approved. Just old Betty. Gotta edit that cut. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Holy freaking crap. the guy i'm supposed to be meeting up here oh yeah uh and, oh no 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 no. sorry no i'm not i'm just i'm waiting on uh, everything to be over here that's not me i'm afraid oh. okay all good oh wait survivor's not over is it is it it's, not over uh it is still happening why is the door locked uh they're out i think doing a challenge right now and then they'll be back in here to do oh yeah. that makes so much more sense thank yeah. you so much for the info <laughs> no problem <laughs> Let's start getting sleepy now. We gotta talk to Flop. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna do this berry talk and then I'm gonna fucking blast out. Turtle Butterfly just subscribed. Turtle Butterfly just subscribed. Thanks, Turtle Butterfly. <laughs> I'm 
gonna need some fucking food, and I'm gonna need it soon. Excuse me, sorry, stretching. You guys didn't know I could do opera, huh? So I'm stretching again, actually. Real. Oh, fuck. Ghost more than opera. I'm sorry, have you not heard of Phantom of the Opera? <laughs> I hate that. Good boy, Ali. What a good boy. Oh. Did you get it, bud? God, you're so fucking cute. Oh, that was my dog for a second. No. Did you see uh, that video of the duck seeing that meteor? Sing for me. What the fuck? Sing for me, Paolo. Go on, remind me of that opera, Ziggy. No. <laughs> Sing for me, Paolo. What are the fuck these guys at? I thought this shit was ending. What what the fuck? Taking too goddamn long. I'm ready to fucking get skedaddle. I can do this goddamn meeting. I hear engines. Come on, baby. Oh, shit. That is a gauntlet. Uh, what does that mean? Oh, God. Who's here? Okay. All right. <sighs> Not the club. It is somebody looking for somebody, though. Or something. Should be dressed as a chauffeur. You don't need to look. At this point, that's all I fucking am. Chaplin, more like chauffeur. Ship, ship. I can't even. <gasps> good boy. Is that good? My Texan coming out. How long you been awake today? Uh, too long. Is he going to get kidnapped? How could Norman Bones do this? How could Norman Bones kill Damien Tinkerman? I can't believe this. It's because you're jealous. Yeah, Damien is way more edgy. <laughs> My raw masculinity. Where the fuck are these guys at, man? Where are these guys at? You back on this girl before you sleep? Yeah, fuck yeah. How could Norman Bones, the leader of Chain Gang, do this? You're right. Oh, shit.
Space Force made it to Mars today. <laughs> That's so funny. This is literally just a sandy shores in a sandstorm. How could Norman Bones orchestrate a shooting to take out the government and not warn TJ like that? <laughs> maybe we can go find them? I mean, maybe. I'm going to imagine that they're at their farm that they were talking about earlier. But who fucking knows, you know? Don't tell me. Okay, that was an that was not an invitation. Let me check in to see where these motherfuckers are. Fuck you, fuck you. I thought I saw someone tweet out about only up on the bridge, but I guess they're not here. Forget about you? No, I don't know. It's just, uh, they're, you know, they're doing their shit, and I just need to okay, no, wait, and or find them. Alright, fuck it. Andrew will call me. Uh, we'll just go down to, um, Barry's farm. And if they're not here, then we'll just go back up north. So hopefully by that time, uh, everything will be settled.
Just Zeus. Me. Just me. Oh. Sorry. <clears throat> Maybe you may as well be here to, to hear this. went into the meeting and I left him there. Uh, I was at a different event when I heard it got shot up. I called him. He said uh, it was still an active situation. Everyone had been gunned down except him, Murphy, Braun, and Ursula. And he was watching over TJ. I'm sorry, he... So he didn't even get shot? Uh, uh no. And who else? Murphy Braun and Ursula Leichenberg. Ursula, the, the one that was holding the camera, right? Because apparently there's a yeah. broadcast of this. Yeah. Do you have that footage? Yep. I need to see it. Are you, are you sure you want to see it? I need to see it. One moment. All right, keep going. <clears throat> um, after it had died down, which was after not only the initial shooting, but a large holdout by the assailants in City Hall. Uh, Saul asked me to pick him up. He was covered in blood and asked me to bring him to the hospital. I, at that point, learned that TJ was in the ICU. I was plain clothed, so I did not go in. I hovered around the, the edges and the outside. And while I was out there, Turgle, who is Siobhan's daughter, was already insinuating to people that Solomon was behind it. At that point, I didn't know the truth of that matter, so I confronted her about it and called her out for her shit, her shit stirring, and that it was kind of unbecoming of a police cadet. Uh, then ended up spending about an hour, hour and a half there while people were in and out. Eventually... Solomon came out, asked me to drive him home. I dropped him off at Mirror Park. And that was the last I saw of him that night. I then hung out in my plain clothes for a little bit more. Went back to my apartment. Uh, debated showing up in my cut. Ultimately decided that it would... Uh, it would allow me to at least see TJ and hopefully provide some sort of uh, comfort, however extra, however small to other people that, you know, everyone was there. And uh, by the time I got there, he had passed. So... 
stayed there, said, uh, said some thoughts to him privately, just as everyone else did. And when I came back outside, uh, Edbert was there talking to Norman Bones. <laughs> Why'd you mention that? <laughs> I, uh, I didn't catch much, but it did not look cordial. We ended up staying there for many hours. <laughs> People were coming in, saying their goodbyes. Could have left that part out. We then held the convoy, starting at Legion Square, went through the south <laughs> side, Vespucci. Fuck, let's get this done. Ended at the golf course. And, uh, ended with everyone ceremonially firing their firearms into the air. And after that, I went to sleep. However, during that convoy, there was a, uh, a distasteful twatter post from Benji saying, fuck TJ Walker, pass, pass, pass. I think we all know where that's coming from. Fast forward to this morning, I woke up, did a standard welfare check on Solomon just to see how he was doing. He offered to meet. We met at the old uh, cut building on the rooftop in Morningwood by old Mandem Block. And very shortly into the conversation, he says that he is fully expecting a bullet in his head. It is at that point he finally tells me that he knew about what was going to go down. After a lot of questions from me, what I have pieced together is this. He was made aware of the plan a day before it went down. And keep in mind, all of this comes from his words, so take them at whatever value, large or little, you choose. It was evident to him that the plan was going to be carried out regardless of what he said. It was just a courtesy notification from CG that they were going to do this. He left the door unlocked. Did he not? According to him, no. Yeah, according to Pigeon, he did. Here's what he told me. Okay. The plan was Solomon asked them to stage the attack during the first hour of the meeting because TJ had notified the council that he would not be there. He would be late. Solomon was to ping Mr. K and a minute or so later get up and unlock the door. And from that point on, everyone would be gunned down. Solomon said he was okay with this because even if he caught a few bullets, he thought it'd be worth it if it meant the same for Max, Siobhan, Cornwood, and Crane. What actually happened is because the sheriff's debate was delayed, not debate, results, my apologies, it pushed back the meeting, but TJ was operating on the same schedule. Solomon said he did not have any prior contact with TJ that day. Up until he walked into the meeting room in City Hall and TJ was already sat down. He said at that point he did not have an opportunity to get him out of there or warn him in any sense. No opportunity. Yeah, 10 minutes. No fucking opportunity. How about you say, hey, TJ, maybe we have a little chat over here in this corner for a fucking second and tell him that he's about to get shot in the back of the fucking head. No opportunity. 
I just I kind of I cannot piece together why you wouldn't at least tell High Command or, or something As beforehand. I said to you, Shang, I agree. Yeah, no, I I get you. I'm not here to you know, point that at you or anything. I'm just saying I just don't understand don't... where the fucking reasoning is that makes him not want to tell at least the club. Like even if he didn't want to tell TJ, we could have done something about it. We could have fucking picked TJ up and done literally anything. He could have done anything. And it would have been more than what he did. But no. That would be too much of a courtesy. If he was one. Uh, Go ahead. May have been mentioned already, but his line of thinking, according to him, was again, he didn't know TJ was going to be there until then. I mean, regardless, like 10 minutes, I haven't watched the full video yet, and I need to. But. The other line of thinking was that if he told TJ, it would make him a mandatory reporter due to his morality clause in his position. But isn't that better than dying? Like, if he knows TJ's gonna get shot, isn't that better? Yeah, he might have to fucking tell the cops or whatever. He might have to tell the council. The motherfucker's about to die. He could. Not everyone is, is gonna tell you that they're willing to tank a few bullets. That is insane to me. How anyone can think that. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take a few bullets. As long as Max is taking them too. What in God's name? Fuck me. He could have just said that he needed to leave, period. He didn't have to mention anything. And <sighs> no, if 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 if, if, so, if Solomon wanted fucking bullets in these people, I've been I've been itching to get a hold of Max for fucking months. And at every turn that I have mentioned it, everybody here and everybody who's been involved is more than willing to 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 get some shit started up. And he's just, I, I know that, you know, CG was going to do their their thing, period, but. Uh, what, uh, what happened next was he deviated from the plan and he never pinged Mr. K. Uh, uh, but as I have seen from the short version of the video of the attack itself, it looks like CG took hostages and force them to open doors. Um, the reason Solomon wasn't shot, I don't know if you've watched it yet, Barry, was uh, the video shows it, and he reiterated to me, once he heard the gunfire from behind him, he hit the deck. <laughs> and Murphy did the same thing. Ugh. What a fucking hero, huh? Hey, let's give it up for Solomon! Oh, guys, why are we fucking clapping? Biggest fucking hero in all of ADMC. Knows his boy's about to get shot, shot the fuck up in the back of the fucking head when he's facing away from the fucking entry and he hides under the fucking table. <laughs> oh, man. That's... Oh, God, I gotta see that. I gotta see the action replay of that. Very. You're not gonna fucking tell me that he sat there knowing full well that there was potential that TJ was gonna get FUCKING SHOT AND HIT UNDER THE TABLE! LIKE A LITTLE RAT! THIS IS THE SAME GUY THAT WANTS ME PUT A BULLET IN WINSTON'S HEAD! AND SAT THERE AND NODDED! NODDED AND AGREED! YOU'RE TELLING ME THIS IS THE SAME GUY! Are we sure this wasn't some fucking deranged clown wearing a skin suit as Solomon? Because there's no way those two people are the same. Uh, no, just go do things until I give you the call. Yeah. The same person that I started this fucking club with, that I gave a fucking position to help me build something. And you're telling me when he's, <laughs> when he's a high command fucking member was about to get shot, he hid under the fucking table. That, I wish I, I was think. lying. I would, uh, at this point, recommend you watch it if you haven't already. Uh, as someone who has already watched it, Barry, I know that you want to see what Solomon did, uh, but what happens to TJ in it is... Uh, 
not an easy thing to watch. He's, uh, uh, one of the first. You think nothing about my fucking life is easy. <laughs> Watching a fucking video, that is the easy part. Me building a club with a fucking rat from the start. That's not easy. That's difficult. Watching an MP4 online, it's not... It's just... Very. That's your kid. I just, you know. You, uh. You shouldn't have to watch him die. What Loki is, has said. It's all oh, that, that has happened. That is what happened. I watched it. I don't. You watching that is going to uh, sear something into you that uh, will not go away. I don't want. I don't want those. I mean, those shouldn't be your. You know, something that you should attach to him. Uh, there's a part of me that regrets having watched it myself. I can only imagine what that's going to do to you. Is there any other information you have, Loki, about any of this? After he described the plan versus how it actually went, he circled back to his original statement of that's why he thinks he's going to get a bullet in the head. And everything that we spoke about after that leads me to believe that he is... in a mental state where he is going to accept it without any pushback or any fight left in him. He has said in finality that he expects this to happen. Sounds to me he was already checked out before all this happened. That's what, that's what that fucking sounds like. Sounds to me like this fucking dog was checked out God knows how long ago and is just looking for a fucking excuse to make peace! He's at peace with himself! He's at peace with the situation! We're all at peace! While it can seem that way, I don't think that's what it was. I think the consequences of his lack of action have eaten him up almost completely i'm not oh, i'm oh, not garnering sympathy for I'm him i'm sorry oh man poor guy he's been through a lot yeah no you're right poor guy's been through a lot yeah you should go home and take a fucking rest it's tj's peace it was tj's uh chance to go home and oh man go cry about it my son is fucking dead Until Solomon crawls out of fucking whatever hole he is, he's in and calls me and talks to me man to fucking man, 
None of you are to do anything to him other than get information to him that I want to speak with him. If I find out any of you or anybody in the club or anybody related gets to him and does something physical to him or mental to him, before I have the opportunity to speak with him, I will shoot you myself. Is that understood? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing is happening to Solomon until I have my fucking conversation. And if he does go into fucking hiding for the next fucking month and I don't find him, let's just say my, uh, my alternative solution is a, a lot different to my first. A couple more uh, pieces I need of this puzzle before uh, I go any further. One of them is uh, Pugin wants to fucking talk. I am going to go speak with him. I need uh, need you guys. If there is any other information or context to this. Appreciate you finding it out. Ursula, especially being one of them. If she I had the fucking camera out, I'm going to assume that she probably knew something was going to go down, whether or not she knew it was a fucking shooting. I have a little bit more. Okay. Solomon told me this morning that, and I believe this is on the larger video, in the immediate aftermath, Max immediately started questioning the three people that were left up asking not even asking just reiterating their ties to uh cg yeah i mean i'm gonna be honest why the fuck wouldn't he everyone else gets shot in the fucking room except three specific people and all three have ties to cg Murphy was their lawyer. Ursula ran their businesses. Solomon fed them information. Yeah. Max also phoned me afterwards. Um, while we were in the hospital, and he said that he thinks Solomon was the one who orchestrated it. Obviously, I don't think he has anything that can actually... Um, you know, prove that in any way. But, uh, it's a pretty good assumption. I hate that I was wrong when I yelled at Turgle. I know it's such a small thing, but... I didn't even think it could be a possibility. I thought it was just an extension of Siobhan and Max spreading their bullshit once more. The other thing, Barry, I have is three names of the hit squad. At the end oh. of the... Wait, you talking about the people who shot up the console? Yes. I got all of them. Cornwood okay. actually just told us at the end of the convoy. I only heard two or three of them. Uh, I think they're but... Well, I mean, the CG... I, I can't remember if he said all of them, but the CG and it's the same six who went to jail that day for like fucking year. So yeah, they're on I'm 24 assuming hour that's, holds. Uh, some sort yeah. of correlation, right? The three names I have are Zolo, Rami, Taco. Funny, the uh, people that are in prison honestly are the least of my concern right now. Um, Not told uh, everyone. I'm not exactly uh, sure they're going to be uh, in there for a short amount of time uh, shooting up the fucking courthouse. I mean, if if Solomon had... Did he say that TJ wasn't going to be there for, like, to them? Do we know that? That is why he requested they do it within the first hour. We because do, TJ had already shared with him that he would be an hour late. We do know that as well because uh, Pigeon told us that... Um, CG wanted the impression that uh, TJ was not going to be there for the first hour. And then it got delayed, and he said nothing? Nothing. Yeah, ten minutes, even even if his excuse of he never chance to speak to TJ that day was true, which it wasn't, because I saw TJ that day, um, 
Even if that were true, he still had 10 minutes in between them breaking into the courthouse. He, and he, had, him. he had an hour. If he knew that it was delayed an hour, he had enough time to call, maybe not, maybe not necessarily TJ, but those guys and say, hey, TJ's in there. It could have been... Oh. No, yeah. That's... Yeah, I mean, you, you fucking heard Loki. He didn't recognize it was TJ. Uh, yeah. He's very hard to recognize. I'm, uh, I'm going to go speak to Pigeon. I'm on triple six point five. If I press my radio for literally any reason, probably no thumbs up. But I've known Pigeon a long time. I think uh, I think he'll have a convo with me without anything stupid being done. I want to hear all sides before uh, anything's done. Uh, Once you might I'm done to... there, I'll. Uh... What? No, I was just saying you might want to put it on triple six point three. I think we're already on triple six point three. Triple six point seven. What I'm on. Not talking that radio at all. But if you hear something on that radio, then I've probably pressed it for whatever reason. Okay. I will have my phone on me. Call me if uh, you get any other information. Otherwise, I will be. I will be back soon. I wish to speak with you more. Whew. I really wish he would take someone with him. I don't trust it. Barry! You really shouldn't be alone right now. I've... I've tried. <laughs> trust me. Yeah. You guys are correct. You just, uh... Some things you know you can argue and some things you know just not worth it. I'm gonna see if Andy's uh free. Okay. Oh, I think she's probably wrapping up now. Cash back up there. I'll uh I'm gonna go and uh, see what's going on up there so I can bring her down here. I think Pigeon is probably going to direct most of it at Solomon, which I don't know if it's the truth or not, and don't tell me, but, um,
Based on known info, not looking good, yeah. Am I on the radio? Just making sure. Yep. Ziggy's thoughts on Barry there? Uh, he gets it. I mean, Ziggy has literally, uh, you know, made someone into liquid because they kidnapped his son and his fiance at the time. Uh, so. I can respect that she's stuck around this long, making deals, doing whatever. Hello. Hello, who this? It's it's Ziggy. You're in you're on a MC? Huh? You're on an MC? It yeah, I have been for a while. Which one? ADMC. Oh, I'm your I'm your supplier. Oh. Oh for what? I'm I'm clean, so I don't you know. I'm, oh. I'm you know. Oh, it's fine. You can he, tell me. I know we're doing bad shit, but yeah, I supply a lot of some, well, some if not a lot of your guns. Ooh, I see. Okay. I, uh, Are you guys okay? After everything I saw, that shit. My condolences. Uh, I think uh, the short answer is no. Uh, the <laughs> yeah. The better answer is, I think there's quite a few people who are ready to set things on fire. So. Let me know if you need people. <laughs> Thank you. M1911s and stuff like that. Look, because <laughs> I'm going to call it the TJ Walker special. I'll buy it at market. You just come with me to this ammunition. Give me the money. Thank you so much, as always. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'll let them know. Pretty please and thank you. Yeah. <sighs> I love it when the city burns. Ziggy, I love it. <laughs> I got to yeah. scoop up Andy. She's supposed to be going to see her brother, so... Okay. I get my, my condolences. All right, I got you. We should just fucking go. Oh, fuck. Just ran this way and fucked off. I saw you run off. Where are you at? Oh, I didn't know you were here. That's I just okay. wanted to be away from everything. Yeah. Uh, I ran towards the motel. I'm just on the corner. Someone is... I see another one. Alright, come on. Um, Barry is meeting with Pigeon at the moment. Uh, he refused to tell us where. Okay. Yeah. Um, is it giving like safety checks? Yeah, we're all on the same channel, and if we hear anything on the radio, then you we know. We won't know where to go. Exactly. It's. He's not thinking right. I, uh. Oh, I trust him. Sorry, go ahead. I'm just sorry, I trust him. Yeah, he's. He's smart. Oh, man, he is. Uh. What happened? Nobody's told you. Nobody from you guys. I don't know if you have more details. All Alex told me was that CG went and shot up the council, and that's it. Let me call Chang. Hello. 
Are you still I'm telling you guys right now, if you there? don't tell me every fucking detail, uh, there's gonna be a problem if you know things. Uh, that is my the, fucking family. The house. Oh, the, no, where you um, just were. No, I'm like training Barry kind of thing. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Yeah. And you, what you up to? Uh, where can I meet you? I have, I'm with Andy and she needs to hear things. Um, it needs to wait until after this Barry thing. Can you guys wait? I just want to make sure Barry's good. Uh, sure. I'll let her know. Yeah. It won't be long, I don't okay. think. Okay. Alright, bye. Um, Shang said that he wants um, to meet, but uh, with the Barry meeting pigeon, he like wants to wait just in case. Um, I... I I have most of the details. I just don't know if I should be the one to tell you them. I don't care who tells me them. I want to know. Okay. Uh. Apparently, uh, there was a plan to go and shoot up the city council meeting. Um, and. Barry's going to tell you anyway. Um, Solomon was in the know. Did TJ know? No. Cool. So where's Solomon? That's what Barry's trying to figure out. How 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 did he how did he know? Uh, he's been in talks with. I guess he's friendly with Chang Gang, um, and he was made aware as a sort of courtesy uh, from Chang Gang that it was going to be shot up, um, and to Solomon's. I don't know, I can't say credit. Uh, he said that TJ, you know, would be an hour late. And then the meeting got pushed <laughs> back an hour. Okay. Yeah. So meaning he knew that TJ would be there. And what, just didn't tell him? Yep. <laughs> you guys are going to kill this piece of shit, right? Oh, yeah. Because I'm telling you right now, Ziggy, if you guys don't, I will. Yeah. Um. Barry, just a little bit ago, said that uh, he wants to get a hold of Solomon and he doesn't want us to... <laughs> touch him yet because he wants a conversation mm -hmm. mm. yeah I'd have some questions myself <laughs> you're at my family house I know Like did, like, did he have it out for TJ? I don't understand. We don't really either. There was only three people in the meeting who were not shot. And it's because, you know, they ducked or got out of the way or, you know, whatever they'll say. There's only three people who weren't shot. There's Murphy Braun, Chang Gang's lawyer. Of course. Ursula, who ran businesses for them. Yep. And Solomon Walker. Hmm. Hmm. 
So what is this guy like hiding in a little hole? Do we have him somewhere or? Uh, there's only one person who's been able to get a hold of him today. Uh, and that was early, early this morning. We don't know where he is at the moment. <laughs> mm. Okay. Okay. Why 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 the fuck why the fuck did CG even do it in the first place? But two, why is Solomon helping? And even if that is like his own shit, cool, why isn't he warning TJ? That uh is the same thing that we're trying to figure out. What <laughs> just like being a moron, just being stupid. Or had it out for him. How much is Solomon even around you guys? I never fucking see him. And I like to think that I see plenty of you guys pretty often. At best, uh, assuming the best intentions, this is just uh, a monumental it's, I can't even put it into words. It's he he fucked up. The best intentions. The best intentions, Ziggy, would have been him telling TJ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, where does he live? He used to live in uh, Mirror Park with... Uh, At the house? No. Maisie Graves. They had a different house. The cop? They were a thing for a while. Since when do you guys date cops? I'm married to a cop. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I know you've been doing that. No, mm. Okay, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I... <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think you and Barry are at at the on the same page right now. Um We're just waiting for him to be done talking with Pigeon and then I want him to see you. Uh yeah. Then we can <laughs> Okay. Alright. I assume Pigeon's being spoken to since he's close with CG. Um Most of our information, at least uh initially came from Pigeon and said that uh Solomon knew Pigeon is the one who told us. Solomon knows that Pigeon's the one that told you guys. No, no, no. So sorry, sorry, sorry. Pigeon is the one who told us that Solomon knew. I'm going to be real with you. I don't know where you guys are at with this, but Pigeon was incredibly close to TJ too. So whatever he's saying about this, I would believe him. Uh, Barry said that he trusts Pigeon and he doesn't think anything would go badly. Um, but he's just worried because of how close Pigeon is with uh, Chen Gang. I think Pigeon would probably stay out of it, to be honest. Mm. And even like, I don't picture Pigeon having known that this was going to take place and thinking TJ would get hurt. I don't think Pigeon would ever have ill intention on TJ or not say something if he did know. 
Like, I kid you not, me and Pigeon have been planning things together, heavily talking about involving TJ. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> Yeah, I think it was. <sighs> Just bad information from Solomon. I, I, no, nobody knows why. Why were they, like, why? What? What's the point of Changing doing that? And that's not my criticism of Changing because I'm going to be honest with you, Ziggy. Yeah, I can be pissed at them for being the ones who fired the shots, but I can also be pissed at the person who didn't stop it. Who didn't protect TJ? Who was sworn to protect TJ? Isn't that your guys' whole fucking thing? Yeah. Because I'm sorry, Changing's going to do what Changing does regardless. Yeah. Barry said earlier he's not really concerned with the guys who got locked up in prison. He's more concerned that Solomon Yeah, they didn't. shot him, but Solomon could have prevented that. Solomon, in my mind, may as well have been holding the gun himself. Yeah. Shot him in the face and said, oops, sorry, didn't know you'd be standing there. I could have told you to move, but I didn't. I, I, like literally fuck them for shooting TJ fuck whatever their reason was don't really fucking care I'm allowed to be biased in this situation but extra fuck Solomon who betrayed the effort <laughs> Diggy I'm gonna lose my fucking mind if we sit here any longer I need to do something <laughs> How close are Solomon and Barry? Or were they, rather? Barry trusted him enough to start the AD and C <laughs> with him. Are you fucking... To, wait, to start AD and C with? Like, like, founding member. Like, founding. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that means Solomon knows a couple things about Barry's potential mental state in general, or maybe some things Barry's gone through at some point in life. I <laughs> I can't say more without saying too much about my brother because I don't know what he's told you and that is his right, but I am so... Yeah. I... I <laughs> it really is literally just anybody. It's literally just anybody. I am literally at a point in my life, Ziggy, where Barry is the only person I should trust ever at any given time. And vice versa, to be honest, because apparently, no matter what, people can just fucking stab you in the back. And in this case, honestly, feel like he's stabbing him in the front. Literally, why the fuck would we trust anybody outside of family? I don't. Barry may never trust another human being ever again, Ziggy. Yeah. So mad I almost flipped your car. Oh. <laughs> oh.
Have you called your dad? No, I figured you guys probably had. I called him a ton last night, same with Barry. I'm I'm too <laughs> I'm too worked up to talk to dad right now. empty God, please don't jump. God. <sighs> I don't suppose you've had any food to eat. <laughs> Sorry. What'd you say? Oh, I was asking if you had food. Sorry. Uh, uh, actually I do, yeah. It's not gonna do much for you, but... That's yeah, fine. Take anything. Well, it was... <sighs> Have you talked to my dad? Yeah. Yeah, I saw him earlier. I brought him to the hospital. I thought Barry would go there, but I, I don't know if he did. Is the club on the same page? Of course. Okay, because I, I cannot say uh, what I would do or how I would react if I meet a single person from your group that says, I don't think we should kill him. No, I think uh, we're all on the same page. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, a <laughs> Solomon had made me uh, his you know, he's fucking, uh, he was going to make me his chief of staff if he fully mm -hmm. got, he fully got elected. Mm. And, uh, cool. I mean, you could have died. I promise that I'm equal. I could be having this thinking. conversation with Flop right now. You know? Oh, I know. Not only that, uh, if, if it, if it wasn't, if TJ <laughs> hadn't gotten the job, it would have been uh, my sister-in-law. It. Yeah, I mean, fuck Ziggy. If we go down that route, I could have been there. I have a standing invitation to every city council meeting. Yeah, fair. I'm on the fucking cabinet. I. <laughs> so many more people could have. Yeah. <laughs> is so fucking classic TJ as well if he hadn't given me the, me the money the event would have, wouldn't have happened this weekend I probably would have been at the council I actually 100% would have been at the council meeting begging for more
I I want to be there <laughs> when this happens. Yeah, I think this is. No matter what, I will leave my avenge. Jenny can handle it. I will be there whenever this happens. Yeah. Just in the same way that I'm not gonna go fucking find Solomon on my own and take those answers away from Barry. You guys cannot do the same to me. And if I get hit with club shit, it's club shit. I swear to fucking God, Ziggy, I will lose my goddamn mind. This is not just club shit. This is family shit too. And if a single person opposes me on that, all I'm saying is probably better for you to talk to them than me. Nobody's going to oppose you on that, Andy. And you're right. I think everybody would see it as... I mean, this is... <laughs> this is you and Barry. Period. No, it's you guys too. Just the same way I wouldn't bar any of you from being there. I just... <laughs> How the fuck are we gonna even... I left a message for Nova. She hasn't gotten back to me. I don't even know how to contact Jesse. I was told somebody, I can't, I can't remember who right now, but somebody has got a hold of Jesse. Did anyone talk to Jaeger? I sent him a text, but I, I didn't get anything back. Like, what do, like, what do I, what do I do? Like, what do I do right now? again god knows if we'll actually see it very that is hey no not not with the cheery voice call and i just got told what actually happened and i'm fucking fuming so Yeah. Club. Yeah, maybe. Is he gonna be around tomorrow? Uh, should be. Like late, like this time? I'll try. Maybe earlier. Um, yeah, maybe you mean Ziggy can fuck off into the woods. I could really use that right now. Because if I... No, not right now. I'm going to try to talk to Barry soon here. I don't know who this is. I haven't seen him yet. But tomorrow if you're around. Okay, tomorrow then. Alright, love you, bye. God, you know it's serious when Colin says it back. <laughs> oh, okay, just call. At yeah. least for a little. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't had the chance to see him yet, but. Well, we're all going to fucking night tomorrow. <laughs> all right. Oh my God, friends who will be in the outdoors, crazy. <laughs> We can pick a spot to kill Solomon. <laughs> I, I don't, that, that doesn't make any fucking, listen, I, I am so. <sighs> yeah. I am commonly an articulate person and I am well-spoken and people think I'm smart because of that. And I'm aware of that and that's great. But when I am pissed and I can't form my words, it means I don't have any. And I don't have any words for this person who I met pretty much right when they arrived here. I took him under my wing. I said, here you go. Let me teach you about how to do crime properly. 
Show me what you can do. I will give you a I will drive you around. I'll tell you every fucking gang turf. I'll tell you every dangerous area. I'll show you how to do X, Y, Z. Anything you need to know, I will help you because you seem like a confident, smart, and worthy person of me investing my time into. And why the fuck not? You're new. Why wouldn't I do that? I take him under my wing. I take his boys under my wing. I give them everything. Yes, we had a lot at the time to give, but we invested it into them to help them. And this motherfucker <laughs> who can sit there, look me in the eye and say how much he respects me, how much he's grateful for that, how much he's never forgotten it, how much he looks up to me, how much yada, 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 yada meant so much to me, can't even... <laughs> It's not fair. Can't even take two seconds to look after my family. What kind of fucking disgusting waste of space doesn't even look out for their own? That is exactly what Barry said. trying not to make assumptions but yeah i don't think that there is any <laughs> good answer even if it was if it, even if it was purely neglect even if it was just oh yeah it didn't cross my mind or i didn't think he'd show up he was in front of you i take it this didn't happen like did this happen before the council meeting started or during it uh, uh the planning no, the, the actual shooting. Oh, during. There was... So he could have, at any point before that, taken TJ aside and said, listen, some shit's about to go down. Either get out or be ready to fucking hide behind something, hit the floor, whatever. So... The council meeting was delayed by an hour. Solomon knew that was now on TJ's timetable. Said nothing. For that hour... And then, 10 minutes into the meeting, the actual shooting occurred. So he had an hour and 10 at least. <laughs> an hour and 10 minutes. Even if I sat here and tried to assume the best of... Oh, I didn't think he'd be there. Well, no, he could have still told him. Oh, I thought TJ would be smart enough to know. Well, he didn't, and now he's gone. I, and you I, There's how... There's no way around it. There is no If he had been some person who was just friends with TJ, maybe somebody who's not involved in a fucking uh, criminal organization who doesn't know any better. Sure, maybe. But not somebody who does all the shit you guys do, preaches all the shit you guys do of how you're going to live your life and how the club above all else, etc, etc. And then does... Nothing? Yeah. It's not even like it's risking anything, even if he needed to stay clean or 
free of guilt or he was afraid he would get caught. Why does that matter when it's the life of another member? I don't... I, si I sincerely cannot understand. I... <sighs> Maybe it's been too long since I led no, no. the HOA because that gave me plenty of moments of I literally cannot comprehend how you could do or not do this thing. And now it's all coming back to me. And I, I don't. No, you're right. Um, we have, you know, tried. Uh, th there is no good enough answer, period. There's not. There's just not. There's there's literally nothing he could say that would change my mind. Like, even if it was like, oh, the plan was different. It wasn't supposed to go down that way. Something else was supposed to happen. And then they did something else. Even then, it's like you still, you still give the warning. Yep. I, 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 I need the answer. Is he, I need to know, like, did he just not care enough? Did he have something personal for TJ? Did he think TJ could just handle himself so he didn't need the warning? Did he... I, oh. I've been asking myself all that all day. I've been asking other people all that all day. We don't know. And we're not going to know until we get a hold of him. What we do know, the one person who did manage to speak to him earlier in the morning, is that Solomon knows that it's coming. He knows that he is going to get a bullet in his head. If he gets off easy. Exactly. I don't know, something really fucked up about me, Ziggy. With people like this, I can never actually decide if I want to kill them or not. Yeah. Because when people... <laughs> when people do shit like this, I literally can't help but feel like... <laughs> it's okay. They... Sometimes I think so low of them that maybe living is the worst punishment I could give them because they have to live their life being what they are. And that is fucking disgusting and embarrassing and pathetic. Andy, it's... I get it. You want them to hurt like you are. Worse. Even. It's not fair. You think he's going to run from now? I don't know. I think, you know, I before all the all this, I would have liked to have think that he would have, uh, you know, stood and, and uh, taken the punishment. But after this, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna call Barry. And see if I can. Man of my word, as he says. on the phone. So that means he's alive. Okay. Um, Why do you keep bringing me here? This is where Barry was before I came and got you. 
don't even know how he stands being here. Yo, uh, do you still want to meet him? Uh, yeah. Oh, I, are you guys good? Well, I have Andy. She wants to see Barry. She should see Barry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with him. Uh, uh, we're at. Oh, we're on the fucking boonies. Um, I think he's going to come back to the city now. He's just in the phone. I'll chat to him in a sec. Uh, but, uh, she probably just needs to call him. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, so I, just tell her to call him now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Bye. Uh, Shang said you should call Barry. Is he not answering anyone else? Uh, he, when I called, I said his line was busy, so I don't know. He's obviously on the phone with someone. I'm calling him. Oh, what a fucking day, huh? Yeah, an answer. Mm. Mm. Let me call Shang again to see where they're going. Shang's not answering either. They said they were out in the boonies, uh, headed back towards the city. So I'm just gonna go up Sonora, see what I can yep. see. Yo, okay, there you are. Holy shit. Uh, um, I think I actually, I think I just need some time actually before you talk to Andy, which I know sucks, but I, yeah. I, I so. I'll be on, I'll be honest. Oh, uh, hold on, he's you just send me a text. Okay, okay, all right, thank okay. you, Shang. Hey. Oh wait, no. I hate. Yo, uh, it's about time we have that chat. Okay. Uh, your sister would really like to see you. Um, she's with me. I I do want to have the chat though. I need to speak with you alone before I do anything. My ping is six one four. Find a location by yourself, please, and then ping me. Okay. Alright, I will. Uh, I... He... Oh my god. He said he wants to speak with me alone. Uh, I, I... I think it's... I've been talk... You know, mentioning to him that we... I've been trying to talk with him about shit for a while and I think... I don't know. He's not gonna see me? No, he is. I just. He... He's just putting it off. I think he knows that if he sees you right now, it means that he has to start addressing. Uh, not his anger, and I think that he might be afraid of that. I, you shouldn't be alone. Um, Just pull over. I'm not putting you on the sidewalk. Uh, I am fine, Ziggy. So I, no. Uh, it's, you. Ziggy, we're, uh, we're, so pull the fucking car over. Uh, we're going to the house. I have half a mind to bring you, frankly, or have you be there? I don't know. Nope. You're going to do what's best for my brother because that is what I want. That is what you want. That is what we all want. What is? And if he's me, saying that's what it is, that's fine. I. He could say that that's what it is, but is it? It's better that he's talking to somebody. 
There have been plenty of times he refuses. So I would go with him. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm glad he's got a support system, even if I don't. Yeah, no. She's getting in the car. No, no, get in the car. Fuck no, off, Ziggy. No, get in the car. Go help my fucking brother, Ziggy. You're coming. You care about me? That is what you will do right now. You are coming with me. I'm not. I can tell you that much right now. Go. I'm a big girl. I can handle it. Everything okay? Too many spoons. Oh, fuck. Am I dead? Motherfucker, man. 614, right? Yeah.
I don't, uh, I don't expect you to remember everything that we talked about the last time that we did talk. Uh, but before I properly, uh, get into anything, and I know it's probably scary because you're going to have to address some things that you may not want to, but you should have called Andy before we came here. That's all I'll say. Uh, I picked this spot. Because uh, a city I used to live in uh, had a power plant just like this one. They sort of, a lot of these big companies, they make them, you know, cookie cutter. They use similar layouts. You know, if it isn't broken, don't fix it, whatever. So the, the city I was living in, it looked just like this. The building down there to the right has a little green awning uh, just out front of it. And it's got three propane tanks lined up all next to each other. Long time ago, I was still doing police work. Uh, there was this... I was engaged. I had, uh, had a fiancé and... Uh, and an adopted kid. His name is Hank. Uh, there was this guy. Sort of a, a fanatic. He really liked blowing shit up. And don't get me wrong. I think everybody likes seeing explosions. But this guy it was like his every waking moment. Was wanting to either set things on fire. Or blow things up. And he took a particular interest with uh, my family. And for a while, it was just, uh, you know, sort of vague threats and, you know, harassing us. And, you know, I, I tried to go through uh, proper channels to handle it. You know, I was a cop. I wanted the system to work. And at every turn, uh, it didn't. And then one day, he decided that he was going to actually act on the things that he had been saying. And uh, he kidnaps uh, my son and my fiance. Uh, fortunately for me, nothing happened to them because I was able to get to them before he could take off in the van that he had stuffed them in. And uh, that was a breaking point for me. I snapped and I took off my badge. I turned off my radio and I drove until I found him. And once I got a hold of him, I tied him up. I put him in the back of my squad car. And I drove him right down there to that little green awning. And I fucking tied him to it. And I set all three off. And there was nothing left to clean up but liquid and just bits of propane tank um, I know that everything that has happened uh, has made you incredibly angry and I'm not going to try and have you not feel that or dance around that at all because uh, there's a lot that I don't understand yet properly. Um, and for a while, this was, you know, I wanted to get to know everybody better properly. But, you know, there, there was a part of it that was, you know, a, a, bit of a, a bit of a challenge. It was fun. It was exciting. Um, and, in fact, the last conversation that I had with TJ was one like this where I got to sit around and learn about his past. I talked about mine. We talked about cop shit that we did. We talked about why we're doing what we're doing now. And he changed my perspective on 
how I should be going about uh, chaplain shit. And he pushed me in a lot of different ways that I want to change. Um, so, uh, what this conversation was going to be uh, isn't what it is now. I, uh, I, I can't even imagine what is running through your head. And I know a lot of it is probably, you know, if you focus on the anger, you don't, you don't have to feel anything else. Uh, and I know that I mean every single person that I've talked to today they have said that they are doing their best to put on a brave face for the club because that's what everybody else needs right now every single person has said that and I know you You are the toughest of all of them to try and even begin to get past that. So, uh, I'm not gonna, I don't want you to feel like you need to say or do anything here because I know that you're supposed to be the the column that is holding everybody else up uh, but that only works for so long before you end up in a fucking hole that you can't climb out of I've talked to your dad today. I've talked to your sister several times over the past few months. Uh, so I'm not going to, and, and I know now, I'm not going to force you to tell me anything about you or your past or what you've been through. Uh, because all of this, me trying to get that out of you, uh, I mean, what good is any of that worth if you don't trust me enough to tell me yourself? And frankly, after what has happened, I would understand if you didn't. Get in.
You know the reason why I stayed in BBMC a long time ago? And this is before all the shit happened with D. That was a very important uh, point in my life where I wasn't sure if this was the, the life I, I wanted to live anymore. There was another point before that. And how much you knew about it or how much you were told, but there was a point when I... I don't remember if I was the VP or still the road captain. I, wa I want to say VP at this point. When the club... Uh, knowing full well that TJ was my son, and at this point he was still a cop. But, you know, we had interacted a, a lot, and the club had seen me a lot with him, and... You know, we both understood that he had a job to do, I had a job to do, and that... Despite our relationship, if, uh... You know, we're robbing a bank or some shit, and he pulls up on a core. And say it inevitably led to a shootout or... Anything physical, I guess. We both kind of knew, like, hey... You know, we can care for each other, but, uh... You know, we're still both just doing our jobs. And we had this understanding that, uh... I need to, uh, answer this so we don't get shot, because we are on their turf. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hey, um, just, just so you know, I'm just having a chat with someone, uh, it's kind of near your area, but we won't be, uh, too long. There's just an important reason why I've got him here. Yeah. Me, um, I'm going to be awake for. Um, I'll, uh, I'll call you when I'm, uh, I'm free. I'm, I'm down to have a chat, but I'd rather, I'd rather in person. So if you're, if you're busy today, then it can be tomorrow. What? No, 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 that, no, no, I'm not there. I don't know what the fuck he was talking about. Anyway. Um, long time ago, uh, obviously when he was still out of the club, I very much cared for him. As I said, we both understood kind of what our role was in the city and did our best to work around it. The club then decided with uh, a guy called uh, Jean-Paul, or, or X, I think he went by back in the day, um... Told him that he needed a cop. I don't even remember for what reason, but they just needed a cop to prove some kind of fucking point. We fucking we hate cops part 745 and TJ was the cop they found. They knew exactly who he was and knew exactly his relationship with me. That he was my son and uh Despite having all the opportunity in the world to literally grab any other cop that was awake. Um, even after they saw him by himself, they still went through and decided to swoop him up. And take him down to that old, uh, old factory area just, uh, just south of where the Vargos hang out. I wasn't there for whatever conversations went down, but uh, I found out three days later. Not from somebody in my club. Not from somebody that was involved in that specific situation. But I got a call from Chatterbox. He called me and said we need to speak. I said, alright. He told me that... Uh, the club had just shot my son. And that not only had they done that when... They had the opportunity to go elsewhere and literally grab any other cop in the city to prove whatever point they were trying to prove. That based on the timeline that I had been awake, uh, they had more than ample opportunity to tell me. This wasn't just a situation of, oh, I just woke up, first phone call I get was chatter, bish bash bosh. It was, I, I, I want to say I'd at least been awake for that entire day, potentially even 
day prior. And not a single one of them came to me and told told me what had happened. Not one. Despite, you know, ranks and clubs and all that, even just people I considered friends in the club that knew of that situation. And in fact, were there for it. Not one person wanted to pull me aside and say, hey, this thing happens. We're sorry. It went down like this, whatever. That was the uh, first point, I think, since I'd entered the city, and I'd been in the city for at least a year or two at that point, that I was like, what the, f like, what the fuck am I doing here? Hmm. I put my life on the line every single day. I woke up when I had fucking COVID to buy a fucking sports car for the club. I'm bu I'm busting any time D says the fucking word. I'm there. I'm shooting. We go to wars over a Vargo's fucking saying a, a bad word to D, and the whole club goes into fucking war into battle, spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on guns, shooting over a couple words. I don't blink an eye. I say yes, sir. It's for the fucking club, of course. I put. Every, I, I put my life into this fucking club. And that's before I I, I I shot him in the fucking head because he was trying to endanger the club. This is just... This is just D being D. And I knew what I signed up for. I understood what it meant to say, I want to be blooded into this. And I wouldn't find out till a long time after that that it was very clear that 99% of the people that put themselves in that situation truly don't understand what that means. That was the first point where I uh, I was at a, a crossroads or a fork in the road where I had to decide there, there may be times where this club literally literally attempts to take the life of a family member, somebody I care, uh, care about just as much as the club. And I decided, you know what, I'm, I took some time. And I decided uh, I'm willing to put this aside on, on one condition that I can bring TJ in. And after TJ recovered, he went on a... I, I, I wasn't sure. TJ survived. I wasn't sure if he was ever going to speak to me again. The only times he would meet me were... On a fucking random rooftop somewhere, and he he looked like he'd gotten back from a fucking Blink 182 concert. You've never seen so much fucking mascara and and, and fucking black t-shirts. He was just completely changed. And uh, even after all of that, I think days, weeks passed. I don't know how, but I was able to convince not only the club, but also him to be a part of that. And that was one of my reasons why I continued. I never told this to any of them, but if I uh, if I wasn't able to do that, I don't know if I would have... I don't know if I would have been able to last in that, in, in that club. Just having that lingering the entire time. Even after I heard about that, the very same day, um, I'm pretty sure we, we were going to war with somebody or we were being attacked. After hearing that the club had just not only tried to kill my son, uh, but they hid it from me, that very same day, I'm pretty sure we went to war with CG. And I didn't say a word of fucking about it. I just put my fucking head down and, bi uh, and just, just did the whole s fucking moronic, stoic, stupid, dog shit fucking... <sighs> Excuse to hide whatever emotion was needed to make sure that the club was was still good above all else. As long as the club was okay, then at least I'm fulfilling the, the mission that I set out to do. So, from that point, once TJ was brought in after the, this 45 fucking day war with three different gangs, two of which I think were happening at the same fucking time, uh, TJ quickly became one of the the reasons why I stayed, if not if not the reason. Who 
There is only one other reason outside of the club itself that I had in this city to, to not only run the club, to, but to, to be in the city at, at all. And TJ was one of the reasons why I came back because I've I've done a I've done a lot of shit things in my life that I'm not proud of even before BBMC and before arriving to Los Santos. But I felt like me coming back after five years, maybe one of the things I could do right was to, to be a good dad. And, uh, yeah, you know, what kind of dad just, uh, what kind of dad am I to let my son just get, just get shot in the, in the back of the head? Like a fucking, like a, like a barnyard fucking animal, like a horse that doesn't fucking run as fast anymore. What kind of dad allows his son to get executed? Doesn't even get to look the guy in the fucking eye. At this point, I don't even give a fuck who who, who the actual one was pulling the trigger. Uh, TJ didn't even fucking. He, he was just completely oblivious to it. I don't even know what the fucking last word I said to TJ was. I have no memory of what my final words to TJ were. I have no idea. It might have just been as simple as fucking. All right, see you later. Talk to talk to you tomorrow. Oh, let's, you know, whatever. I have no idea what my last memory with TJ is. What kind of father can I say that I am that I, I that I, I can't even remember the last thing I, I did with him or said to him? What do you think that fucking what do you think that says about our fucking relationship and how how much more I could have been involved. And I allowed the, the club, not only the BBMC, but now the ADMC to consume my fucking life to the point where I don't even know what the last fucking conversation with him was. And I told you that I came back. Part of the reason I, I did come back, and I've, I've said this to a, a couple people, but maybe not to the entirety of the club, that... I didn't come back to this city to be like, all right, let's start up uh, another club, guys. Let's uh, restart BBMC or start ADMC. That wasn't my reason for coming back. There's a reason why I'm talking to you. And when we first met, I'm doing fucking G6. I was just trying to make some fucking money. If, if my goal when I first came back to this city was to get straight back into the life uh, that, that, that I had all those fucking years ago, then flops would have been right. And that I, 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 I shouldn't have been be become that fucking person I was when the city first fucking reopened, doing fucking G6. A rent a cop, that's what he said. Maybe he was right. Because I was. I t you would never catch old Barry doing any kind of fucking civilian work back in the fucking old days. I would have fucking... If, if old Barry heard that this Barry was doing that kind of work, he would have shot him himself. That's because there, there was another reason why I came back to this city. Let me show you.
was for her. It's funny, uh... I saw Colin the other day after <laughs> not seeing him for five years. Yeah, I took him to a bar and was just kind of talking about everything. And I told him about how I came back to the city and my, I guess, my story this far. Uh, he said, it's funny, uh, you know, you say one of your reasons uh, you came back was to look for copper, but how, how much have you actually looked for it? So I'd already, uh... I already found her. The, uh... The house we were at, um... Used to belong to... My sis and, uh, myself and TJ and Hubcap. We called it the Bathhouse. A little acronym for, uh... You know, Barry, Andy, TJ, Hubcap, and, uh... too long after I, uh, came back, uh, to the city, uh... I found it. When, uh... When the Rico happened, I, I didn't have an opportunity to speak to anybody, or see anybody. After the, uh, the big shootout, I got thrown in the... The back of a CVPI, transported to a cell. And immediately, uh, the, the, the first opportunity they had to, to... To shit me the fuck out, they did. I didn't get to... I, I had no communication with anybody from the club. In my family. One thing I, I kind of held on to in the, the five years that, that passed was... When I get back, I... I know what, uh... I know what kind of dog she was, and, um... I, I just knew that she'd be... She'd be waiting. I'd come back to Los Santos, and I, I knew that... <laughs> I knew after the connection we uh, we made that she she wasn't going to go anywhere, and I knew she was smart enough to to know that I, I wouldn't just leave her. She was uh she was just sitting on the porch. She, uh, she just, she waited. I never came back. None of this. Not a 